Hey folks, Future AA here. Today we're doing a retrospective onto one of my favorite games of all time, Roller Coaster Tycoon, made by legendary game designer Chris Sawyer, a figure whom I regard with great awe. It's not the most graphically advanced game ever created, but I personally enjoy its graphics, despite the fact that the way I streamed it, with its resolution designed to fit older computers, it kind of looks wacky. Do not adjust your television sets. This is my intent in creating this VOD. Anyway, this one was a real treat to revisit, and please let me know if you like this and you want to see more retro stuff, as it's some of my favorite stuff to do. Enjoy. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Perhaps the greatest game ever made for its time. I know I say that about a lot of games. Uh, yes, the video resolution is right. I, I know it looks a little weird, uh, but this game was made with just such an odd resolution. I mean, by today's standards, such an odd resolution. We're going to go through and just play one of the, uh, one of the water scenarios in the uh, early game, because I love this game. Uh, and it, it, it is quite amazing. We need 500 guests in our park at the end of October year three with a park rating of at least 600. So this is, uh, let's see how far we get. We'll probably just go to the goal. And then once we get there, we're going to make some awesome coasters. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is one of my favorite games and just a real throwback. Um, and I just did the micro park challenge for the next video, which will probably be, uh, hitting before this thing hits. So, uh, I, I guess kind of like take that into account. Um, unfortunately, this game was made before really visible hotkeys, uh, and you can't really zoom in that much. And it, it's, I know it looks very dated in a lot of ways too, um, but this is a truly amazing game. Like, don't, don't doubt it at any second. Um, this is one of the, for its time, to you zoomers out there, this is one of the best games ever made. And if you know of this game, you know it's, it is a legendary, a, a game of epic and legendary status. Um, that kind of made Chris Sawyer's uh, career, I do believe. Um, I, I think this is really all that he had to create, right? Um, but yeah, an absolutely amazing game for its time. And even still, I was playing it quite recently, uh, and it's still amazing. It's still absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and pause just for a second. No, we don't really pause because time just doesn't really go by that fast, and I want to get some motion going right away. Let's get a Ferris wheel in here. Um, now, the kind of, like, gentler rides our park goers will not be as enthused about over time. We're going to go ahead and just destroy that tree because uh, trees don't deserve to live. Um, here we go. Oh, whoops. We got to go ahead and let's redo that entrance. We're going to do that over there. Now, you got to go ahead and place an entrance. And I, I think you know how this works. I think that you know how this works. Yes, we should get some swan boats early on, too, because that's... I mean, this car, this uh, this park is begging for swan boats, but we're gonna go ahead and just uh, we want to make this like six long for. Damn it! All right, five is fine. I'll settle on that. Um, mm, I guess we could put some more stalls here. Now I'm really used to playing in a very small park over the last couple of days, so I'm feeling like that this is um pretty important that I I be very like conscious of space here. Wait a minute. No. Hang on a second. See, I, I just played the 15 by 15 micro parks, so I'm out of my mind. I feel like every single square counts. So I'm going to be really, uh, shall we say, judicious about this. So let's go here and then here. See, that's better. One, two, three, four, five. We used up the space better. Clearly much better. Uh, and this game will raise your IQ to play it. Uh, but we've got this nice, nice lake over here. Everyone loves this lake. It's very nice. Um, mm. Did you ever play Foxhole? I don't think I've ever played Foxhole. That's the other uh, isometric World War II game, right? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of uh, other games of this era, of this ilk. Here we go. Look at these swan boats. Now, I don't know if you're really supposed to build a track with swan boats. or like, what's SOP about swan boats? But, um... Hmm... I wonder if we build this under n lower. Mm. You know, what we could do is something like this. And we're going to make a lot of mistakes, so let's just get ready for that because it's been a while since I really played this game well. But that's good because mistakes are uh, good. They're sometimes good, sometimes good. Let's go ahead and put our tracks over here, and then we'll put the entrance he hither. Uh, no, that doesn't make any sense. Why did I do this? Uh, mm, okay, well, that's okay. We can build it. Okay, we've got to raise or lower the land. So this was all a, just a total mistake. Uh, very much regret this decision. Let's go ahead and just trash this ride. Fortunately, we do get back, I believe, all of our money in this game because it does refer uh, give everything back. 
Do I prefer RCT1 or RCT2? I don't really know. I, I think RCT1 is the one that sticks with me because I never had a PC as a kid. I had an Xbox, so I played it on Xbox, uh, which actually was pretty good. They did a decent job porting it over. I don't know by today's standards if it would feel good at all, um, but it certainly felt good back then to have an Xbox controller in my child hands, uh, which they redesigned for child hands. Hey, Ghoul King, good streamer and video creator friend Ghoul King in the chat. How are you, my friend? Certainly you remember RCT, which was like one of the greatest uh, uh, roller coaster games pretty much of all time. Not even just roller coaster games, but game games, you know? Yeah, it was pretty good for the console. Don't question it. Uh, Mil Mil Jewel, hey, thank you very much for the uh, for the prime. Much appreciated, my friend. Let's go. Let's cut right to the chase here. Uh, scrambled eggs is not really such a great ride. No one's ever excited to get on it, in my experience. Uh, we want to raise our park rating and our value, but we're just going to kind of go through and have some fun here. I think I'll go with everything except for I believe ride improvements. I could be wrong about this, but scenery and theming just aren't as good. Roller coasters, thrill rides, gentle rides, and shops and stalls. Generally speaking, we kind of got to fill out the more exciting stuff first because I, just genuinely speaking, the the gentle rides aren't that exciting. They're uh, you just kind of place them down and they do nothing. I think it would be interesting though if we had like a wooden coaster that was extremely expensive and went all the way around the park uh, and was very questionable in its design. So we're gonna cut right to the chase here, and we're just gonna go through and uh, we're gonna navigate around many of these trees with our first coaster and we're going to make something that circumnavigates the park uh very exciting very exciting we'll put the entrance maybe way back here in the of course in the back um fries stall we get a fries stall going though maybe we should get some other stuff you know let's just pause on that for a second because we can always come back let's get the uh the money machine going we want to get a couple of rides i know i said that i hated scrambled eggs i still do i stand by that uh, but we do need something that's just generating income to begin with. So let's put that over here by our uh, stupid, boring rides. Goddamn tree in the way. Okay. Deforestation. There we go. Um, man, everything is like a crossword puzzle in this game. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Scrambled eggs is no good. I don't like it. Uh, I know I'm a, kind of a, an ignoramus for saying that. Now, we could really... This game's uh, elevation tools were amazing. You could practically build an entire park on top of the park. Um, mm. What if we do something like... Now, we don't want a huge line for scrambled eggs either. But what we can do is something like this. And then we do that to get this path going. I, I know we wasted a little bit of money, but we want our cues to be... Hey, get back on the path! Now, you can also drown guests. I'm going to go ahead and just place a guest in the water. There he goes. Uh, he's drowning because none of them can swim, so we'll put him back on the path. He This slightly ruined his day. But, um, yeah, guest torture was always, like, kind of oddly normal in this game. We'll make a merry... Let's just get the easy stuff out of the way first. Uh, I really want these rides to kind of, like, interact with the rest of the park better, so that's why... I I wanted to build the coaster first, but maybe if we build the coaster around them too, then we will reach Zen Enlightenment. Let's delete some of these things as well. We turn this twice. There we go. My God, RCT was just such a banger. Ah. Oh. Deep into the game, do you like to set up areas for certain rides like Roller Coaster Zone or Arcade Parade? I like it. My f see, like my ideal park is the one where everything is kind of like touching each other, you know what I mean? Like, um, uh, wait a second, we want three here. Let's just make this a straight path. Like, I want the rides zooming up and down above and below one another. To me, that's a very successful park. I like that. Let's get rid of this because I'm always wigged out whenever there's two paths next to each other. Used to delete the paths so that leads to places without a single thing. No guests could interact with the stuff in the park. Yeah, the guests kind of just walk around at random. See, some of them are, oh no, those are geese. I thought, I thought those were guests. Geese, guest, they sound so similar. Uh, but here we go. Our park is finally, uh, we don't want to open up that roller coaster. Let's just make sure that we're making a little bit of money. Uh, we don't have any handymen. Let's hire one handyman. We've got to hire one of those. They're wearing green. That looks good. Uh, let's also hire a mechanic. 
It's a bit of a waste of money. I probably shouldn't do this. And let's also just set him bad handyman. Uh, no mowing the grass because otherwise he's just going to spend the entire time mowing the grass, which we don't really care for. We want him sweeping the paths because there's a lot of vomit on the paths. Um, but yeah, I, I, like I said, sort of the Zen enlightenment model of uh, RCT. So a, a nice wooden coaster has always looked good. Uh, you, we can buy land and stuff like that, but this scenario will probably be quite easy in comparison with some of the other ones. I'm, st I'm thinking a little bit maybe it would be better to just invest a little bit more in stuff that's actually going to make me money here because I do have a tendency to go broke because I get a bit ambitious at the beginning. Uh, but it's just because I'm such an ambitious guy. The multiple paths thing confuses the AI. Yes, they do walk in circles. Like, I once had a big area where it was just all path, and I thought it would help them openly get to things, but yeah, they did all get lost. Uh, we do want to create a kiosk ASAP, uh, if possible. Uh, these are the boring rides. We've got the coasters. We could build, like, a mini coaster at first, or we could do a miniature railroad. Hey, the near mark. Uh, hey, thank you very much for the, uh, for the two... Oh, Jesus Christ, for the sub and the gift sub. Hey, thank you very much, near mark. Ah, oh, God bless. And thank you for the, uh, for the Jabberwocky reference. Hmm. Always, always warms my heart. Hmm. So, me thinks, uh, let's see, we got a fry stall. Everyone loves French fries. Um, despite the fact that they surrender. Um, there we go. Let's begin. <laughs> let's begin with the coaster. Okay, so we're going to make a nice big station. Big station. We go back into the construction menu. Now, I know that the UI seems pretty dated in this game, but at the same time, like, for its, for its era... This game's UI was incredibly good. Uh, very, very good. Let's go ahead and... We're going to raise the stakes a little bit at the beginning. Can we get beyond this tree? Let's delete that tree. Good, happy, happy little tree. Oh, God, look at all this other land that we have. My God, hang on a second. No, I think we need to rescind all of that. Let's go ahead and make a longer station. We want a very long station for many, many a car. There we are. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh, it's raining! Uh, guys, like, for its time, this game's weather effects were incredible. Look at those exactly the same pics. I know it sounds like I'm making fun of it, but this game's... Basically, everything about this game was just so advanced. Ah, uh, damn it. And I know that a lot of the UI seems dated now, but it was incredible for its time. Oh, uh, God, nights I would just spend... Okay, we don't want this to be quite so amb... Maybe we do want it to be pretty ambitious. We want to give it a good start, a nice, clean push at the beginning. There we are. Nice, clean push. Uh, though this is getting going to be very expensive. Maybe we don't want to do that. Now, it's not costing me money to do any of this, but we want to work with the normal elevations of the land. Yeah, we are going to we are going to go bankrupt if we don't do this. All right, well, let's begin the turn because we're going to make our way around the park. Hopefully, this will uh, work out. Oh God, yeah, we are going to go bankrupt. We're going to need to make very tight turns here. Uh, let's go ahead, go down a bit. Uh, we just want to kind of get them some early momentum. Then we'll do this. Uh, we could, ooh, we could do a downward spiral. My God, uh, to think, to think we could be going down and spiraling at the same time. Uh, mm. All right, let's go around the other way then. Oh, man, this really brings me back to Coney Island. Jesus. Hey, PSP, how are you? Hey, thank you very much for the huge tracts of land. Yeah, we do have a lot of land in this challenge. Feeling good about that. We are going bankrupt, though, after only about, like, one turn in this roller coaster. I really should have thought this through. Uh, but let's just have this one go up and then down a lot. And then we're going to have to test the whole thing. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and we'll do another turn. Another turn, yes, like that-ish. We've got to get rid of some of these goddamn trees. There we are. Uh, mm. Receive the most disappointing park in the country. Wow, I've never gotten that award before. What an uh, what kind of uh, asshole made this game? <laughs> uh, of course I'm kidding, of course I'm kidding. Um, uh... Now, why is that even a ward, though? What a, just an outstanding blow to my confidence. Oh, my God. Yeah, we are going to go bankrupt, it seems. Okay, this coaster, I take it all back. This coaster won't do any of the things that I said 
we're just going to kind of go back to the main entrance and uh, live with it uh, because we aren't going to have enough money to get back there. Uh, but we will go down. It's going to do something absolutely thrilling before we're done. Does it cost more money to build over water? We'll go almost into the water just to upset everyone. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, whoops. No, we don't want to do that. My God, why did I play this today? Uh, huh. There we go. Uh, hang on a second. Nope, we got to be going up and banking at the same time. No. Oh, Jesus. So many options. No, I said up and bank. There we go. Yes. Yes, just like that. Ah, good. Okay. Maybe this will work out. Well, we'll find out in a moment. Um, I guess we'll do like one more rising up. Rise up. Don't talk about my park's money. Please don't talk about my park's money. <laughs> no one no one wants to. We'll be doing well in a few more uh, maybe hours or days. But believe me, this is going to be cool once we finally get this coaster, which did none of the things that I want. I mean, this is kind of like the story with RCT, though, you know? Like, you have some idea, and then it doesn't work out, and then everyone gets very upset, and then you get bankrupt, and then you need to tell all of the shareholders. Uh, and then eventually, you run out of money. Uh, but we're almost there. We're gonna. It looks like we're almost going to make it back in time to have enough money, and we could just take out another bank loan. My God, uh, we should not have gone down then, but it's all right. We'll just have put the footpath over it. It's fine. Okay. Um, nope, no more footpath. Oops, wrong one, tree. There we go. Yep, we're just going to delete that footpath. And then how will anyone get to the ride? God only knows. Um, mm. Okay, good. That, uh, damn it, another tree. Uh, mm, going back and see, this was the type of thing I was never really very good at. All right, well, we did finish the ride, and we didn't run out of money. We have a dollar and sixty. Wow, talk about talk about barely having enough money left. Um, is the ride going to work? Now, we're going to have to go ahead and test out the ride. But look at all these nice cars we got on the coaster. Guys, you're neglecting all of the nice cars that we got on the coaster. And look, we are making money. We now have seven dollars. <laughs> and look, they have no way to go over there, so they just won't go that way. Eventually, we'll buy a footpath that goes over the roller coaster that is senseless. Here we go. Look, there goes the roller coaster. Nice. Good. There it goes. Uh, running a chair. Uh, there we go. Good. Uh, the roller coaster goes down, up, then down. Good. And yes. Oh, yes. It does work. Jesus. Amazing. Uh, okay, so it does work. Thank God. What else would we have done if it didn't work? Um... Okay, we now have $25. Let's see if we can get back to the main path in time. No, we now have three so uh, dollars. Roller coaster has one that's no path leading from its exit. I know, we're running out of money. Uh, we're going to need a loan. We're going to, can we get a loan? Let's raise our loan just by maybe like $1,000. Good, there we go. So we have enough to open up the roller coaster. Oh, God. Really didn't think that would be good. Man, some things never change. Don't tell me that the guests will be upset with the ride. Please. Please, God. No, no, d come on, keep going that way. There we go. Who has the least upsetting park in the country now? I mean, we really should have gone with one of those prefab designs. Nah. Nah, that was the right decision. We made our own cool custom coaster, which uh, just isn't really all that exciting. But hey, it goes over the lake. That's kind of interesting, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, Triple G, hey, thank you very much for the for the uh, 300 bits. You know, my TTS is very quiet today because... No, we gotta fill up those rides. Gotta fill them up. Because this game is just so outstandingly loud that I had to lower everything. Oh, in fact, let's have the music again, though. Let's have the music. I did turn it off. There we go. Okay, so the music is now on, so the merry-go-round will play obnoxious songs for us. Get ready to put the cotton in your ears. Oh no, it's playing a menacing classical song now. Well, that's a little upsetting. Oh yes, park tickets can go up. So let's go raise the prices on everything. Yes, because that is also true. Yeah, we've been charging people free admission to our park. I always forget that this is a thing. So we're going to charge them the steep price of $15 to get in this absolute massacre of a park. Uh, but that should start generating us some actual revenue. Uh, because it is not very good. <clears throat> 
And then we can eventually start paying back more of our loan. Our loan. Uh. Alright, so the one thing that I didn't like about this game, I'll say this kind of right out up in the front, is uh, it had no way of speeding up time. At least that I know of. Maybe in RCT2, but uh, uh, too bad. So we just watch them go around in that one ride for now. They're having a good time. They're loving it. And now there are ways to optimize this, like to get the highest excitement rating. Nausea rating is medium. Excitement rating is high. I believe we want intensity to be kind of uh, not so high, too, because I had a ride that was too intense where no one was very happy. Are our guests... Here we go. Some of them are getting right back on. I guess that that means that their nausea is going to go up. We might want to put a bathroom nearby here. New ride attraction. Okay, good. We've got the information kiosk because this is a place where people could very easily get lost. We're going to put that right in the front. And we do have some dollars now. Excellent. This is amazing. How lucky are we? There we are. Okay, let's put this down and let's charge everyone a very steep price for a map. Uh... Actually, I think I'm going to leave some of these ones at the default just because I don't want to raise the imbalance. Though eventually you do need to kind of ra uh, raise and lower the prices to suit demand. Now, a lot of guests find the merry-go-round to be very boring, so they don't want to get onto it. Um, are we experiencing that too? Yeah, so let's see this guest thoughts. That guy in the yellow shirt. I want to go on something more thrilling than merry-go-round one. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to be getting on the Ferris wheel because it's slightly more thrilling, I believe. And maybe scrambled eggs, though no one really likes scrambled eggs. Uh, so they do kind of make their way around into the park. And most of the people, we're going to have a, quite a lot of vomit over in this section of the park. Let's also connect this back, because just to get the surface area going, we uh, this is important. Uh, and we will... Let's build over this thing, because this was all just a massive error, but we're going to have to live with it now. But it's, you know, it's quite alright. It's quite alright. There we go. Uh, raise the ground, raise the... God damn it, get rid of the footpath. Of course, get rid of the footpath. There we go, and... Great, okay, so we got over the roller coaster. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Um, mm. And then we go down again. And god damn it, another footpath in the way. There we are. Good, okay, everything's fine. I don't know why, is it stressing... Is it stressing you out to, to uh, be playing this? I'm clearly stressed out. Kid, I love following people walking at the park with a... There were people walking in the park with a magnifying glass? Wait a minute, were there NPCs in this game using a magnifying glass? You know, I never really observed the NPCs that get a map. See that gentleman in the green shirt? Just got a map. Let's see if he looks at his map. He just bought a beverage. Is he going back to buy another map? Uh, let's see what he's doing. It is kind of fascinating to watch some of these people. Now he's gonna go to the bathroom. You can make the bathroom cost money, which was always a little bit, uh, a violation of human rights, but kind of funny at the same time. Are there places, I guess there are some public bathrooms where you gotta pay like 50 cents to use it, right? Oh, you're all completely relaxed. Well, that's a relief. No, I think that, I don't like the paint scheme on this thing's, uh, cars. I want them to look more like... Kind of classic. There we go. Red. Nice red rides. Red and white over the, uh, over the brown. Nice, the, that nice wood grain of the, uh, of the wooden coaster. Now that's a, that's a theme park. In fact, this is too saturated a red. I think we need something more tasteful. Like a more retired shade of red. There we are. Ah, a mature shade of red. Very good. Now that we've increased the surface area with the uh, other footpaths, you can see that the park is most dense at the beginning. And I think we'll start to get a little bit more activity over in this section because clearly we, cur we currently aren't getting enough people. What, now, what is this guy upset with? He's in a yellow shirt. He, it looks too intense for him. So we could, I guess, have lowered the intensity rating. But we're getting pretty good rides with this many people, so I think that's fine. The nausea rating is only, what, normal high? It's not like intense vomit, right? Medium vomit. Okay, so then that's a little bit better. We just need people who aren't such pansies in the park. And we are back up to another $1,600. So I think that we can start to invest more money into more rides. Okay, a metal coaster, only $1,700. We might be able to get a cheap version of some of these coasters, though. I will go with some prefabs. So this one is $1,320 at a minimum. Uh, I really don't love this one, but it is going to get us some money, and we'll do a... I wanted to do one that was non-prefab, just so that people could see how the game works, if you've never seen this game before. 
But uh, what is the crazy caterpillar? How much? How expensive is this? Uh, crazy caterpillar. Let's see what. Usually the smallest one is the cheapest. Good, nice, uh, small, crazy caterpillar. So let's do that. Let's do that in the back of the park because I'm not going to enjoy this, uh, making this ride at all. Let's put um, mm, crazy caterpillar. Yeah, I know prefabs, but look at all. I just wasted like five thousand dollars. I need something. I need a cheap hit for a moment, uh, and then we'll go back to that. Now, can we build directly over the water here? Let's see. Let's see if the crazy cat. Nope, we can't do it there. Uh, nope. Uh, okay, good. We're getting a healthy line there now. Nice. Good. Good. Voluntary. Uh, maybe this one would be good. Can we build it directly over the water? No, thirty-eight hundred dollars. Much too expensive. Ah, uh, jackass. I was being a jackass. Okay, let's build the boring cars. Let's build the mini cars. Because everyone is, uh, everyone hates them. We got such narrow margins here. Man, I really didn't do a very good job with any of this. Okay, never mind. Uh, swan boat. Okay, I, I have a good idea at last. If we build the mm. How do we get the swan boat over here, actually? Hang on a second. I need to put on my thinking cap. Okay, we're going to be doing some terrain navigation. So if we do this, if we lower this bit of land and we raise this bit, yes, this was what I desired. And then we do that. Oh, look at how satisfyingly that cliff goes down. Look what we've just created. Amazing, right? Uh, so now we've created like a small area where we can do some swan boats. So let's have that for everyone who's too terrified to get on this coaster. Which, mostly it just seems to be people who keep getting on and off that coaster. Uh, we'll have them go on these swan boats over here. So let's go ahead and do this. And if we just keep them into a small... Uh, let's see, here we'll need to do... This is slightly the wrong spot for that, but it's fine. Mm, nope. Okay, but I at least see, I can see before me what what the, my destiny looks like. So if we do this. There we go, yep. This should be a very cheap ride to make. That's going to make us a lot of money. We'll give a, a wide, a wide berth for these. Uh, this will be a thrilling ride that, yeah, I think we'll just let them go out in the open because this is kind of nice. We'll do the entrance over here. Can we build this atop water? <gasps> we can! I stand corrected. I thought that we couldn't do that over water. Okay. We can't just leave this out in the open, though. This is a nice ride. Uh, we gotta do one of these things. There we go. Success! It is opened. Okay, l then we do this, and we go slightly up. There we go. Okay, we've got people coming into the... Hey, why are you going over there? There we go. Good. Okay, we got the boats. Do you want to make them swan boats or regular boats? Would I agree that Leo looks like Brienne of Tarth? I have never seen the comparison of him to Brienne of Tarth, nor do I know... Wait, is that uh, like Game of Thrones? You know, I never actually watched Game of Thrones. Who is Brienne of Tarth? Man, my genius is showing. Jesus... Okay, good. So anyone who's too scared to go on that coaster is getting on the boats. Maybe those people will drown. Guests are commenting that my park entrance fee is very cheap. Now, this is great about this game, is that it did actually make it very plausible to sustain a, an economy. There we go. So let's raise it to $20. The safest park in the country, dear God. The safest and, did we have that other award? The most boring, most disappointing, safest park in the country. Yes! Man, look at that thumb. Uh, swan boats? Why do you want swan boats? I'm going to have to... Oh, God, they're going out on the rest of the lake. I didn't intend for any of that. So apparently they can go beneath these... Look, there they go. That seems very dangerous. I don't call that safe. But all right, we'll allow them to do that. More people will get on this thing, and at least they'll be entertained. We're making money again. That's what's important. Yeah, I might have to fence... Yeah, you know, actually, let's, let's close this because... The truth is that if we don't close this, these people are just going to get very carried away and it'll take them too long and there'll be a long line. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to go back to construction. 
and there's going to be a very boring ride, you get to do this. Uh, you get to see the lake, but you never get to go on it. So we're going to go like this, and then like, yep, that's it. You couldn't be responsible, park members. So you're just going to go around in a circle. That's what you get to do. And they still get on. And they still get on. They love it. Look, there go two guys right now. We'll give them swan boats, though. We'll give them swan boats. Oh, no, we haven't even unlocked swan boats. Alas. Well, I feel really deprived of uh, meaningful choice. Oh, look, there go the people. <laughs> they look so... <laughs> Innocent. Uh, we could just remove one of the bits of track on them. Yeah, you can kill your guests in this game. It is all too common. Man, look, there they go. There they go. I don't know about you, but I love the, the way that the graphics look on the coasters in this game. Some people say that it's bad graphics, but I, I think it looks just so amazing. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, it just means so much to me. We might end up rebuilding this coaster, too. We can pretty much refund all of our money. All right, so we get the river rapids. Oh, this is more of an interesting ride. Ropey rapids. Hey, ropey rapids. Let's get something that's actually one of the prefabs. I haven't shown you a prefab. The prefabs are generally better than me. Uh, what I could design in, a, in an afternoon. Let's put that... Uh, I kind of wanted to have good feng shui, though, with the rest of the park. If only we could get ropey rapids to go here, but it doesn't perfectly fit. It doesn't perfectly fit. No ropey rapids. Why ropey rapids? Could we do this? If we get rid of all of these trees, we're going to have to pen, pend a lot of money. Let's just get rid of all of these. Unfortunately, we do need to right-click all of them. This was made before click and drag. I don't know of any non-click and drag things, though. Man, I'm probably putting a lot of misinformation out there about this game. I feel bad because I just really can't do this game enough justice. Guys, it's so amazing, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Can't construct it here. Why? Because... Yeah, probably because of the elevation thing. Now, this is one area where modern gaming was kind of nice because it let you just fix those elevation bits really easily. But um, here's what I think. Let's go ahead and just try to lower the land around there. Um, right up till about there. Okay, so I see how I'm going to memorize this. Yeah, okay, so we've got to go ahead and raise the area of the ground here. And I think it was there. Let's go ahead and do this and this. And good, good, good. Where else? I think here. Well, now, we don't want to use up tons of money because moving dirt is a great way to go broke in this game. Uh, I think it was also there, but let's take a another look at Ropey Rapids. Everyone, you love Ropey Rapids. It's one of your favorite places. Come on, you haven't even touched your Ropey Rapids yet. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, okay. All right, I see the path before me. Three and three. Okay, I've memorized the pattern. Damn it, Ropey Rapids. There we go. Uh, ah, uh, come on, three-dimensional. There we go, three-dimensional viewfinder. Great. Oh, yes, I can feel Ropey Rapids taking shape. No, I did it wrong again. There we go. Okay, uh, one... Two, and are we out of money now? Well, we are prepared for Ropey Rapids when we eventually do now save up enough money for it since after we spent all of that money. Can't construct it here. Now this is irking me. This is irking me. Why ever not? Why ever not? Oh, because there's probably a tree in the way still. Isn't there? There, after all, there... No, there isn't. Oh, there is a tree in the way, yep. $2,600. Okay, so we just need to save up another $1,000 and then we can get Ropey Rapids there. We have finally created the footprint. So and then I guess it does show its age a little bit in ways like that, but otherwise it's a fine game. Um, yeah. A singular tree. Yeah, singular tree in the path. Well, I do like leaving around some of the nature just to make it look, you know, authentic because otherwise I find that the park always looks just kind of uh, bad and dirty. Bad and dirty. Like you. Uh, like you. Swinging ship. Oh, we have the swinging ship. Everyone loves the swinging ship. I, well, I love the swinging ship. Uh, I would always get very nauseous on this thing as a kid, but I loved it. I loved the nausea that it uh, created. 
Oh, the camera icon also shows you what parts are. See, this game was so genius because of that. Oh, Chris Sawyer. Oh, yes, the camera actually does show you the preview of the Okay, this is nice now. We could do that. See, I love this one, though, because it's a water ride. Everyone loves the look of water in this game. Uh, and other stuff. Let's go raise the park fees just to gargantuan prices. Okay, so everyone wants to get on this ride, so clearly there's very high demand. Let's raise the price to match that. Uh, the Ferris wheel also seems to have a full load at all times, so let's go ahead and raise the price there as well. Merry-go-round, we can't really tell because it's not always full. We could lower the price on this, but I think most people don't get on it because it's too intense, or so it's deemed. Um, we could slightly raise the size of the queue for this, but... Uh, our park will be pretty full in no time. Um, the boat hire is free, and yet still no one's getting on it. We're clearly going to need to raise this because we just aren't even making enough money on that. It's making negative $81 an hour. I mean, but the park is getting money overall, so that's fine. It's going to raise and lower some things right here. I think we'll take a little bit off of our research and funding, though, because we aren't making things to keep up with our funding. So I just want to take care of some of that. Merry-go-round still hasn't been fixed. Okay, so my handyman is just a little bit of uh, slow poke right here. But there he is. He's making his way. Very slow man, but, you know, we're, uh, we're paying good money for his health care. So there he goes. The guests are not uh, flailing in the water, unfortunately. We'll have time for that at the end. Those are uh, geese. Um, unfortunately, I know I wish that they were guests too, because I do kind of enjoy the, like, the catharsis of human suffering that comes out of this game. Is that guy very nauseous, or is he just, his face is just green? Yeah, he's extremely nauseous. His hunger and his thirst are just off the charts. He is... He's gonna... He might die. Oh, God. What happened to him? Now, look here. These people are... What are they? They're consuming french fries? What are they doing? These people are frighteningly happy. Haven't finished my fries yet. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I love just how direct the thoughts are in this game. Uh, so amazing. Yeah, he, we're going to have a zombie apocalypse at this. Man, can you imagine if Chris Sawyer had made an, a zombie apocalypse game? I feel like that these types of graphics would just agree with me for a zombie apocalypse. Look, that guy was nauseous getting onto the ride. There he goes. Look, he's going, a, he's going to throw up on the ride. <laughs> uh, I love this. Let's raise the park entrance fee even more. $20. No one's go Let's wait until they complain, for God's sake. Total admissions, nah, we don't want to lose all of our customers. It's 22, they won't notice it. $22, it's not perfectly on the five yet. There we go, let's raise the merry go round price. Uh, raise it to match the other ones because we're going to keep the demand consistent. There we go, biggest rip-off in the country. I haven't gotten that award yet, but if we can get it, I would really love to have it. Yeah, we could just raise our loan slightly. You know, we'll be making a lot more money if we get this because the prefabs are generally more optimized. So let's just do it. Build this over here. Ropey Rapids. There we go. Okay, yeah, we were going to need the money for the entrance anyway. Uh, so let's do this. We want the uh, queue to go around here and we want the uh, exit to go this way. Man, they got to have been British, folks. I don't really know. Was Chris Sawyer British? calling things a queue? I genuinely have no idea. I don't really know as much about... Th There's some things I know about the history of this game, but not that much, really. Not really that much. I gotta say. Maybe I just a bit of an ignoramus here. Okay, so let's go have this line go around here. Uh, we're gonna go like this. Because... Why not? Because we can. Let's just make things more complex than they need to be. Uh, we'll go like that. And great. Okay, so Ropey Rapids. Nice long line. Riv River Rapids. No, that's not what I meant to call it. Look, everyone's getting on Ropey Rapids, though, because clearly it's a great deal. We're going to make the entry fee for this ride like $2. Did we add an entry fee to this roller coaster, actually? $2. Okay, so I think that's pretty fair. Ropey Rapids and the roller coaster are $2. You'll probably see pretty quickly that because Ropey Rapids is a prefab design, it's more like... I don't know if this is even true, but isn't it well made for awaiting test results? Okay, so... Yeah, can't crash because it's a prefab. It's fine. Hey, Uncle Clumsy. Hey, thank you very much for the for the sub. And failed school, thank you for the sub. 
the excitement system is pretty complex. This game does, you know, I'm really gliding over a lot of systems that I truly don't understand. Actually, I just recalled the name of the uh, the YouTuber who does a lot of good videos on stuff like this. Now, I'm sure there are more than him, but the one I've seen personally is, uh, I believe it's Marcel Voss. Marcel Voss? I've, I've uh, never chatted with him, but uh, he makes very good RCT stuff. Uh, it's like very much looking at this game as a science. So I would go check out those things. Look, there's a, a rapid in the river. Um, this is one of my favorite rides because it just has a lot of movement in it. I don't really know if it's, uh, I don't know much about the systems of the rides in this game. You know, I can build my own coaster, not a very good one by any means. Um, but here we go. There they go off on that direction. Now we can just rotate this to see where they're going. Um, okay, so they're going to go up this. Can we even see them? Okay, there's a car going up behind this thing right now. Then it's going to go over here through the rapids, and then down this rather large place. So this is going to be very exciting. I I mostly want to see how this first one will do. See how... Uh, can we get an excitement rating on this thing, too? And clearly, it's a long time for one of these things to go, so all of our guests are still awaiting our test results. My god, but does it take a very long time for this thing to charge up? And look, we're already making back money. We can already pay back some of that loan. So let's do that, because we don't want to uh, have to pay that every month. Can't pay back loan, not enough cash available. Well, I was just kind of content to look at this thing for a little while. Now, obviously, you should be taking out a lot of loans at the beginning, but um, expensive water. Jay Schlatt used to do RCT. Yeah, I think he did Open TTD and stuff like that, too. A lot of his videos are like short masterpieces on these things. I've watched a couple of his things uh, when I was uh, kind of fishing for ideas, you know. Um, I know he does a lot more kind of streaming stuff right now, but he's just a very good uh, storyteller. Very young, too. Jay Schlott is very good for his age. And he was making a lot of things that were very good when he was, like, in his teens, I think. Yeah, you should go see his... I, I haven't seen his RCT, though. I know he did it. I've seen his Open TTD, which was a fine video. Yeah, I think he's about 20... What is he? 22? Something like that. But, I mean, I'm talking about videos that he did years ago. But very good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, Defirecaster. Hey, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated, my friend. Excitement, 6 out of 10. Do we have 6 out of 10 excitement? I won't allow it. Excitement, medium. Well, intensity, low, but low nausea as well. Max speed, 29 miles per hour drops too. Now, you can get all of these statistics on the ride, and you could really go ham with this type of thing. Uh, what is this? This is the miles per hour. Um, um, mm, nausea rating, 0.9. Intensity rating 1.53, excitement rating. So I think that this is fine because you do need a, like a spectrum of different ride intensities, nausea ratings, and other such garbage in your park. Now, no one is getting on scrambled eggs. Oh, alas, it is still making us money. Maybe if we lowered the price, though, because at this point, we just kind of want to create value in the park. The coasters are going to make us a lot of the money and the refreshment stalls. Ferris wheel, people still do seem to be getting on it, so that's fine. But please get on Scrambled Eggs. Scrambled Eggs is one of the least desirable rides in my experience. Uh, let's see, we're at $1,500 again. Let's go ahead and pay back more of our loan. I just don't like to be, uh, I don't like to be underwater. I still feel like I've got a lot to say. I haven't got all my thoughts about disgusting state of the paths in our park. So we're going to go ahead and hire another handyman. We could uh, assign these guys zones, but I think, uh, as long as we just assign them to footpaths, that's fine. But yeah, I've been getting like a hankering to play. A hankering. Look at me been getting a hankering. We do need some garbage bins because it doesn't appear as if we have any of those in this park. There is going to be a lot of litter. Let's work on little things like this. We'll just kind of consolidate our park. Um, yeah, but I've been getting a real hankering to play a lot of games like this lately. I don't know, maybe just stuff when I was a child. Like I played, I grabbed a Game Boy Advance the other day. I had a massive sinus infection this week, so I couldn't really do anything. Um, I was just kind of sitting there in pain. Uh, I can't, I can't really do anything on a computer when I have it. I just kind of go for walks. That's about it. But, um, yeah, probably not a great idea to play a lot of Game Boy Advance, which was really not a very good portable on the eyes, I gotta say. It's probably one of the reasons why my vision deteriorated as a kid. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, um... Uh, I, I don't know. It just felt great to play GBA. I'm, I, I'm 
fishing for what to say about it, but yeah, it felt great. It felt amazing. Now, what is this ride? Maybe this ride is just such garbage. And we should make it a little bit longer because the, the line, it's just not very efficient, but people are still getting on. People never got on. Yeah, Zoo Tycoon, other games of this, of this suspended roller coaster. Uh, I'll show you an expelled roller coaster. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. So funny. Oh, God. Oh, that was such a funny joke. Um. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, here we go. Uh, let's put this over here. I guess we'll just have a waste. No, we don't really have to waste the space over there. Mm, this. And then this, we could bring the path back. But there's something so satisfying about, like, the over and then under in this game. And there were more height tools in the second game, I think. So that was very nice that we could get that back. Okay, this is going to be a very popular ride. I know because I'm a very experienced man. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this back here. So if we do this crap... So let's do that, and then... Yeah, a little bit of a pain that you have to reconnect everything, but that was how... This is how games were made, folks. This was how games were made. Is it free? It is free. Why is the free thing by default? Let's charge people like a dollar fifty to get on this, because it is quite a popular ride. Everyone loves the swinging ship. Uh, even with low ratings on everything. Maybe they'll go from the roller coaster into the swinging ship. And then have vomit over here. Let's go ahead and put a bathroom over here. I don't know if this really affects it, but this is like the capital of vomit over here, right? Nah, our handymen are mostly taking care of it. For some reason, there's vomit by scrambled eggs. What is the intensity rating on? It's fine, it's fine. Sega Game Gear was where it's at. Never played RCT1, but put lots of hours in RCT2 as a kid. RCT2 and RCT1. I know there's probably a lot of subtle differences, but to my eye... Having not played them for a while. Yeah, you, you probably had similar experience. Hmm. Do I know about one-way signs? I don't actually know about one-way signs. Are the, is that a better way to take care of foot traffic in this game? There's probably a lot of stuff I don't know about. Is this the one-way sign? Banner sign. Huh. But there's a lot... Yeah, you could do like a statue of uh, Caesar or something like that. Bathroom supply the water for the log flume ride. <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, I'm old enough. I'm not saying that this is very old, but it's, it's not very old at all. But there was a time when they would sell adapters for the Game Boy Color so that it, you could play the Game Boy Color in dark environments and you would shine a light on the screen with this attachment. This is like the era of gaming that I am kind of feeling nostalgia for. We aren't getting people going on the goddamn merry- No one likes the god- One thing I've learned is that later on in the park, you just kind of go for a free merry-go-round, and everyone sort of accepts that. Now no one wants to get on Ferris Wheel 1! Ugh. Yeah, okay, let's just bring down all of the gentle ride prices to one dollar. One dollar? One dollar? There we go. Okay, great. Swinging ship, as I suspected, everyone demands to go on the swinging ship. I'll leave that one at 150, though, because I like to have some nice full lines here. And I think we can raise up our monthly funding again. I do want to get some of the nice stalls, because the, some of the nice stalls are the things more worth persevering after in this game. Um, maximum funding. We'll also go for thrill rides, and I don't see why not roller coasters as well at this point in time. Um, do we have to pay this back with interest over time? Well, nonetheless, let's go for something more exciting. We want to get more people here. We want to get more roller coasters into our park because this really is kind of a sparse park still. Um, what is our park rating as well? We should probably be checking that out from time to time. We've got good. We've got some nice roller coasters, though. Do we actually have any mo money? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe no more roller coaster research. Just for a few minutes, I wasn't expecting that they would go right for all of that, but thrill rides are fine. We do have a drop ride. Uh, roto drop that we could construct if we get things going. Um, we don't really want any of that. We could do a $1,300 train for Pete's sake. Yeah, I'm just sort of stuck waiting here again. Mm, me thinks no. Me thinks no. We could do another swinging ship to make more money. Because clearly they'll, they'll want it. Just do something on this side of the park. Because it's a waste to have guests over in this side of the park with nothing going on. Or we could just attract more people into our ass roller coaster. 
Yeah, I don't know. That, that, it's starting to seem like kind of a white elephant to me. You know, you have this idea that you think something's going to be great, and then it just fails. And then your whole family hates you. And then you get kicked out, and then, uh, and then you got to, uh... Well, we won't go into that. Uh, but here we go. Fizzly. This seems like, oh, this looks awful. Let's do this. Yep, okay, yep, this is one of the more dangerous rides. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. Great. Um, let's go around to the back over here from the... Uh, yep, yep, this is... I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Can we do it somewhere that it looks more threatening than it is? Yeah, not really for now. But, you know, we do, we do have dense foot traffic over there. But we want something over on this side of the park. Let's go fill out this side of the park. Um... Just destroy some of these av completely innocent trees. What did they ever do to anyone? There we go. Maybe we could get it right on the edge of the park like this. I'm going to be very, like, stingy with the space right here. There we go. Okay. Uh, presto. Good. Uh, God, who says presto? Ferris wheel one is broken down. We'll send it to therapy then. Why won't... Why don't we... Uh, hmm... Perhaps not the most sensitive way to uh, address Ferris Wheel 1's mental health, but a lot... Oh, damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Well, it doesn't really make a difference. You know, having a random cue in there, does it make it... We could drown that one man. Uh, no, I don't think I'll drown him. I don't think I'll do that at all. There we go. Much better. Hmm... This elevation, the topography, though, I gotta say, is about as bad as that of SimCity, you know? Ooh, we could change the color. Let's make it red to signify that you might die on this ride if I were to, for example, change the launch speed of the ride. <laughs> ah. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. I want a nice, consolidated, long line. There we go. Nice, long line there. Ah, uh, this one's gonna be pretty fast, so it doesn't actually need that big a queue. There we go. Never will I call a line a line anymore. I'm gonna call it a queue from now on. Whoa, dangerous, dangerous, man. Two dollars to get on this thing. A lot of people do deem this one very intense, though. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, look at it. It's terrifying. Except, uh, come on. We know something about the excitement, don't we? Or do they go for two runs here? Do they go for two runs? Is that it? So medium, medium, and low. So that's pretty good. Not a bad, not a bad start to this one. We'll get people frequenting this path as we develop our park. And why is no one getting on the goddamn? Uh, I do recall in another park I had to lower these things to like cents to get people to go on them. Remember, this is an age before inflation got as out of hand as it is right now. So we're just going to need to keep doing this. Uh, Merry-go-round is basically the least interesting ride to people. But hey, look, the boat hire is filling up. There we go. It's all supply and demand. Supply and demand. And as our other coasters start to fill up. Now, good, good, good. People are entering the park. People are entering the park. Have, my made the, have I made the roller coaster of death? Not yet, only because I want the park rating to become unsuspectingly high before I start to kill off guests quietly on the side. Delete a track or two on the loop-de-loop. <laughs> I think you can delete, is it one? You might be able to delete one without killing anyone. Uh, maybe, maybe. You could also make it uh, longer and then, uh, man, that really wasn't that expensive a coaster. Nope, I want a successful park first, then we'll start killing off the guests. Uh, which is really the, the true goal of most of this game. Uh, I won't lie. Now this coaster starts to get to some really interesting things. The wooden coaster has a lot of limitations because it can't do like loop-de-loops all all around but I've found that whenever I make coasters guests just don't go on them because they're too insane or th I can't finish them because they're too expensive so let's make a real theme park first and then we'll get on to the things that are just absurd um, we'll go with a few more free prefabs because they have been good money hogs for us but yeah there is so much elevation that it makes getting a prefab down kind of inconvenient in this park that is a little bit of a disappointment. Though maybe we could get like some sort of unsuspecting log flume over here. 
Uh, here we go. Unsuspecting log flume coming right up. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, this is kind of doable. Whoops, uh, did that already. Can we just build this log flume out in the middle of the water? Come on, of course you could do this. See, how cool would that be to have a log flume on top of a lake? I know it seems like decadent and a little bit ridiculous, but at the same time, that would be nice. So that is one area where this game's uh, topographical graphi tools uh, were a little bit, you know, early, I suppose. But I don't just want to play a flat map. Can we do that? Nope. All right, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say let's make our own custom log flume that goes over the water because I think it's going to be kind of badass to just have a, ba a log flume. And now we'll, uh, we'll start to fulfill my year-long ambitions. We're going to have a log flume that interacts with the other rides. Amazing, right? One wouldn't think that a roller coaster would go up and above another one. Too dangerous, eh? eh? Don't do that. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, but we'll put it somewhere that topography would be kind of inconvenient. No. Okay, yeah, let's put it right at the front entrance, just because that gets people on a ride right away. Maybe we could even deposit them somewhere else in the park. There we go. No one will hear your screams. Delete. Ah, but these willows in the... Are they willows? Whatever they are. They're trees. They're just trees, of course. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get out of the station platform. We'll put this over here. And then we will begin with the decadence. We could do an S-bend. Now we want to kind of get them up right away. Yeah, you know, we got to get them up. There we go. So let's get them up. Get them up over the lake. Too high for supports. Oh, this was the disadvantage of building directly over the lake. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I'm beginning to see the, the cost of my decadence. Okay, so then let's... Ah, uh, this lake is such a jackass. Um, okay, so then let's deposit them here. We'll move over this way while we still can. While we still can. Then we'll raise it up. Raise it up. I know this seems a bit unnecessary, but here we go. Um, yeah, this is a total waste. Total waste. But we want to get them very high. There we go. They're very high up now. Uh, and let's go pass over the other ride. Here we go. A smashing, uh, probably crash over beyond this other ride. So we do this. Uh, and then we are actually going to need to keep these people over the footpath. So let's just delete this other one. Then we go over this way. And then we go over yonder. Or if we do this, we give them just a little bit of room to enjoy the splash. Maybe we could even go over the other guests here. Nope. Uh, well, I do want the, it to go for that far. So let's just do that. Guess they're commenting that are... Yes, we can raise the entrance fee. Charge him more. I love these people. Pigeons. Pigeons. Remember Ed, Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie calling everyone a pigeon? I think $25 seems like plenty. Yes, the cost of the, cost of the decadence. <laughs> now, I think that this lake's elevation doesn't get quite so high here. Either that or we could just have some amazing splash. If we go around this way and up and up. Okay, too high for supports. Now, the one thing that this game did a great job at was um, letting you be able to just refund stuff. You know, that was good. Too high for supports. Ah, my life is a waste. Here we go. Uh, well, will this work? If this doesn't work, then we're going to just have to take a totally different... Okay, uh, none of that worked out. Nope. Uh, all right, so then let's just turn... We're just going to have to go back over that same section of coaster again. Now, this was kind of my ambition during this stream, was to get a little bit better at some of this stuff. Man, some of the supports in this game really weren't all that high, though. Like, that, see, that's just not very impressive. Can we go down? I can tell that we're going to collide with the coaster if we go down much more. We could kind of change something out in this to make it go underneath it, but I think that would be a little bit too complex for my small small brain, so I think we're going to just do this. There we go. Okay, it goes over it twice, and then it kind of goes, like, practically into the lake. I think I like that as an ending. Yes, there we go. Uh, will I have it go back over itself? No, that seems too complex. Let's just... Maybe we'll have it go up slightly again after this. Nope. Not there. There. Okay, there we go. We good. We can have one last, like, little drop before the end. 
just to kind of give it we we want to get it, have the ride last a while and give people a good ride you know give them a good give them a good ride a run for their money oh no look what we've done um delete just go straight God damn it, we're gonna have to lower that ground. Okay, fortunately we can pretty easily access this tool. Okay, no more ground, no more ground. Do we need to go higher? Uh, yeah, we are at a five level. Okay, so let's go ahead and demolish. Whoops, uh, permanent damage uh, averted right there. Uh, hang on a second. Nope, you just won't get to go quite as far down. There we go. Okay. And look, we made it back to the entrance, sort of. That's fine. Good. Entrance, uh, we could put that... You know, let's make a nice long queue that kind of goes over the ride. And then we'll do an exit right about there-ish. Cool. And then this should be pretty easy to construct. There's just something so satisfying about doing the paths in this game. We'll go blue. Everyone called everyone a... I, I thought everyone... Oh, well, he said sap. He said pigeon. Sim Theme Park is worth it. Oh, Sim Theme Park. Now, all of those good old Maxis games. See? Ah. Ah. Hey, the Fire Coaster, as well as Dracontia 90. And Sentinel, hey, thank you very much for the subs, guys. Much appreciated. Uh, Vampire Survivors is excellent. I do uh, feel sorry for you. Um, it is a very good game. I will just say that much. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's very good. I have my friend Flak Magnet to thank for that. But yeah, as a kid, I was kind of, I don't know if anyone else was under that kind of misconception that Maxis made both games. I don't know why. I guess Maxis just made a lot of great design games. Whoops, uh, we've got to do this. Oops, uh, that was a mistake. Hmm, very tricky. Let's just delete that path. We'll delete this one too. And we'll do something like this. No, I've done this all wrong. I've done this all wrong. Here we go. That's much better. Okay, exit. And then over here to this spot. There we go. Okay, great. We've got it going again. Slightly unintuitive path construction. But remember, it's nice because everything is on a grid. I mean, I'm not really even going to say unintuitive because, like... It's practically Legos, right? If you can't figure out, I am pretty stupid. Or I am just feel I am feeling the intensity of the dumb as I do this. All right, we can even, look, we can even see the, uh, what is it? See, I mean, it, maybe it is a little bit needlessly difficult, though, to be fair. Uh, height marks on paths. Here we go. So we're at a six here. What if we bring it down this normal level? No, we got to bring it back down. It's a little hard to see in my advanced age. Nope, uh, we got to do that again because we can't go over the other way. And we go down there and then we go onto the same level. And then yes, uh, but that moment of satisfaction when you connect it is just, there's nothing that quite compares with that. Let's not even test the ride because I'm just so outstandingly confident in this. I'm pretty sure that you can't design a log flume wrong. And let's trick them into getting in line, and then we raise the price as soon as they're in line. We just take a lot of money from these people. We, uh, no, we won't do that. Let's do like $2. I think that's pretty fair. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fantastic. Hey, Phylokites, hey, how are you, my friend? Hey, God bless. Hey, thank you very much for the raid. Uh, I really have to catch you one of these days when you're streaming. Hey, how are you, my, my attractive friend? Ah, uh, my amazingly attractive friend. Man, we used up a lot of time. We could pay back some of our loan now. Look at this. Good. Look look at us paying off our student loans. That's amazing. Uh, unfortunately, I can't actually tab out right now of the game because the game is... My computer will have to be turned off before I tab out of the game. Uh, or I will be able to close it, but it's just done wonky stuff to my computer. No one is getting on the Ferris wheel anymore, so they're just kind of trapped on there. We're going to raise, uh, lower the price to like 70 cents, and we're going to lower the price of this to like 50 cents. But it, don't worry, because our park overall is making a lot of money, so we're fine. Um, but hey, Phylokites, hey, did you do any RCT? God, what a, just a, an absolute throwback. 
Will I build Mr. Bones Wild Ride? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I gotta. I gotta. If I can. I don't know if we'll get up to it, though. Um, so what are we at now? We're at max funding. Thrill rides, shops, and stalls. I don't know why. It's just like, it's the need to feel like I've gotten out of debt. That's pretty important to me. Here we go, swinging ship. Everything else seems to be getting a healthy line. I would like some balloons, though, to appear in the park, you know? Some good balloonery. Uh, and, you know, this is kind of justified because we've raised up the price of the park so much that we can afford to run these rides for free because, look, people are paying, like, $25 to get into this park. That's a pretty good amount of money to get just for getting in. I mean, I don't like getting nickel and dimed when I get into the park. I prefer to just get on the rides, you know? Like, you pay for a pass... You wear it on your wrist, and then you're having a great time. You're n you aren't thinking about the money. You're, all you're using are your Chuck E. Cheese tokens or something like that. All right, now we, we might want to consider hiring another mechanic sooner or later. Is anyone getting on this thing? Yeah, that also has a line that's $2. Look, the, the guests jump with glee when they get off of the rides. They're so happy. Ah, a couple of times. See, this was the game that I would play as a kid when my I would... uh. We didn't really have a very good computer at home, so uh, my mom would take us to the library, and we would just play this. It was a very fun time, though. Very nice game. So it was kind of like a precious game. But I don't know. I had an hour to play RCT, and then it was kind of over. You know, but it was still special. It was still important. Very important game. Very important game. Don't question it. Um, Log Flume is actually getting a ton of action. Log flumes are always popular. I don't know why. People love water. They love getting wet. Excitement rating, medium. Intensity rating, 2.35. Low. Um, mm, uh, uh, nausea rating, low. I mean, uh, I'm completely happy with this because the people love it because it's fun, but there's no, like, vomit necessarily. I didn't really even intend for that. I, I was indifferent to their vomit. But... Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Water slide. Oh, water slide. What the hell is that? Water slide. Uh, see, like, this game's UI was actually very damn good for its time. See, now we can afford to go out of debt. We can get something called a demon drop. Who even knows what this is? Let's actually take a look at some of these things. My god, I can't actually see them. Why can't I? They don't even have previews. Why? Because I haven't researched the previews yet? Let's see what the demon drop looks like. My god, that actually looks kind of like fun. Okay, I did my own coaster. Let's kind of alternate prefabs to our own coasters for a little while. Let's just see how expensive this thing is. 1,200 upwards. This thing looks a little bit expensive. Um, we could probably build this off over here, though. I think that's going to be, uh, yeah, kind of necessary because now we're just running out of space in the rest of the park. Not really, like, a perfectly amazing park, but, you know, I just didn't have enough money to really go all out with my artistry at the beginning, I feel. I think it's going to be cheaper to just get rid of some of these trees. Let's go take a look at this thing again. I'm trying to tell where the entrance will sit exactly. I think we could do it on either side of this. Oh, who is, who is upset now? Who is upset now? Need to get out of debt. Sounds like animal... Cr oh, God, yeah, Tom Nook. I hate Tom Nook. I learned to fear and despise that man, fixing me up with new loans all the time. You know, I'm not, I'm not afraid to admit this. I just took my DS and I sped up time so that I would get, like, infinite interest on all of my loans. It wasn't a very good way to play Animal Crossing, but I got that goddamn Tom Nook off of my back. You know, he was a real jerk. Um... Uh. I'm holding back a lot of anger at that man right now. I might need to do some therapy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was a sketchy dude. Fixing me up with another loan every five minutes. God damn that, raccoon. Don't like him. Don't like him at all. I think I played only the one for the Nintendo DS, though. I played a lot. That a great uh, game library. We're probably going to need to hire another mechanic here. Let's go ahead and see that. Oh, yes, it worked on the first try. Yes, the first try. I love the first try. Hmm. Me thinks Q begins here. The water, of course the water slide is in the way. The entire water slide is in the way. 
Right. Ah, uh, no, it's going to rain. Uh, rain is actually quite upsetting for most of your guests. All right, I've got a water slide. Unfortunately, it doesn't really interact with anything. I, I prefer it when they kind of go up and over each other. But we got something going anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of expand out our park's paths over, over yonder. So let's just um, let's find a path maybe like right over, let's say, for example, somewhere perfectly charming like over here. And we'll go over the coaster and through the woods. Mm. Or maybe we'll just go directly up this hill. Yeah, that would work too. Just like that. Yep, we just send him up, send him over. There we go. Now they have a th thrilling walk over this coaster. Don't stick your hands up too high or you might get lobotomized or uh, something like that. Mm. Why are you walking over the path? It's not supported yet. All right, back down, back down, I say. There we go. It's much less expensive if it's on the ground. There we go. Okay, so we're going to build the path back out here. Tree in the way. God damn this tree. Okay, okay. All right, we're back. We're over there at the thing. Uh, let's see if we can get underneath. Can we get underneath? Yes, we can get underneath. Fantastic. Mm, okay. Yes, my brain hurts a little bit less now. There we go. Yeah, it was a little bit stressful creating some of the paths in this. Not gonna lie. All right, so let's go ahead and make our queue over this way. Because we do need people to queue. Yes, they have to buy the umbrellas too. Oh, yes. Do we actually have... Uh, are there umbrellas sold? Are those sold at the kiosk stand? Oh, hell yeah. I hadn't thought of that price gouging. It's like charging a lot of money for water during a natural disaster that did actually happen to me once I, uh, I lived through a, this isn't really, living through a hurricane is a little bit eye-opening because a lot of people in your neighborhood, it turns out, don't really care. Uh, but yeah, that was, that's the reality of the situation. But, uh, yeah, that happened to me. There was a local deli that just charged everyone, like, $50 for a gallon of water. Just trying to kill the entire neighborhood. Um, but, yeah, that was quite sad, actually. I, I don't really want to deal with this, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, go ahead, we'll replace the exit somewhere else. Now, you do spend a lot of time puzzling over some of the controls in this game, but it is rather intuitive, i got to say. Like, you don't really hit a lot of brick walls. You don't need to look things up. It's just... It was so well designed, this game. Yeah, a little bit of PTSD. A little bit of PTSD. I get that. I feel that. Yeah, it's no fun. It's no fun, Hurricane. Hmm. Let's go back, actually. Um, oh, shh. Jesus. Uh, what did I even do? Oh, I see what I did. I accidentally... There we go. Station. Oh, Jesus. Wait a second. Yep. Okay, I see what we did. I see what we did. Yeah, just do that. And there we go. That's perfect. Perfect. No, I meant to be working on the paths game. I meant to be working on the paths, of course. Please. Okay, there we go. It, like, it would be nice if you could just build a, you know, a simple, like staircase like this but at the same time it kind of taught me principles of recursion as a kid you know like how could things go back on themselves and do something different just like this here we go my god that is much too high oh well we go over here and then let's bring it down bring it down bring it around damn it there we go perfect perfection is this right next to the... Uh, I can't really tell. There we go. Okay, this way. Yep. And then bring it... Yes! Yes, just like that. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. It's all connected. Jesus. A bit of an ordeal to construct a path, but, you know, this game made it fun. It made it fun. Uh, mm. Alright, what has happened uh, to our theme park. It is improved, clearly, but this is one of those games where when you look away, things just get keep on getting better, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, roller coasters and death. Like, what other game could have you confront a fear of death like that? I'm pretty sure that Planet Coaster just made the people, you know, like, stay alive whenever their coaster crashed. Look, this guy is trapped, or he is just very confused, so we're going to just send him uh, into the water on this ride. Can we do this? Nope, unfortunately we can't place him there. Can we do it here? We can send him there. Now he's drowning. Help, I am drowning. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, we'll force him to go on the new ride. Stand there. Great, you're having a great time going on the water slide ride after you were drowning in water. Ah, nothing like it. Nothing quite like it. Am I playing open RTC? Uh, no, I'm just playing the regular one. I know there's uh, slightly better controls in it, but I just kind of wanted to do the uh, the base game before I went over and did the, you know, improved UI version of it and all of that, uh, all of that junk. But no, open RCT does look very good. I would. Uh, is that like? Is that one of the ones where you need to own the base game? I think you you gotta have the base game to have it run. It isn't it like a mod? Um, otherwise, I would say you know. Uh, it is still on Steam. It is still on Steam. Marvelous game. Marvelous game. Hmm. Let's make this like a more threatening color, like orange. There we go. And then we'll make the car just, just yellow. Just yellow. No, actually, it'll look like, uh, we'll do blue because those two contrast and it just looks terrifying. Awful ride. Absolutely awful ride. There we go. That's much more, like, true to its name. Hmm. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty pleased with this part, guys. We've made $3,000, we've got all of this room, and yet it always kind of has you strive for more, because in this this game truly does reward, like, maximalism on a postage stamp, you know what I mean? Yeah, an assault on the senses. This game is an offense to the tongue. What, or whatever, what have you, I don't, I don't know what to call it. Oh, balloons, balloons, I totally missed this a couple seconds ago. That must have been those ding sounds. So let's put these throughout the park, uh, because the sooner we do it, the more we could get balloons to spread. There we go. We'll have blue balloons for now, but we'll also have red balloons. Because why not have both, right? We'll put that in a different part of the park to tempt our guests with balloons at every turn. Getting off a ride, maybe you want a balloon. There we go. Let's do the primary. Let's start with the primary colors. Start with the primary colors. Look, there they go. They're walking by with balloons. Now, I believe it was in RCT2 that if you clicked on a guest, they dropped their balloon. Uh, still in this game, if you see a balloon go flying up in the air, you can pop the balloon by clicking on it, which I always thought was kind of a cool Easter egg. Um, but yeah, it is quite nice. And practically everyone buys a balloon. They must have them. I don't know why they just have an uncontrollable love of latex. Um... Yeah, uh, safety. Oh, yeah, we could do like a maybe we could do an orange balloon nearby the orange ride because it was very dangerous, as uh, as designated by the orange color of it. There we go. Oh wait a minute, this is not an orange balloon. This is a cotton candy stall. Well, maybe you know you uh, decide you need a sugar rush too before you get on the ride, just to kind of maybe like enhance the amount of vomit there. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit boring. Let's go with, uh, let's go with pink. There we go. Alright, so these should start to circulate throughout our park, like blood throughout the veins and capillaries of the body. We've got a lot of good demand going. Let's just make sure that we're kind of fully utilizing all of our ride space. So I don't see everybody getting on this thing. Let's lower the price slightly. I just want my rides to get good usage. I don't know if this is really good practice, but I think... You know, like, economically speaking, it seems like a good practice. Lower the price until you're meeting the demand in the perfect spot. You know, supply and demand. Supply and demand. Let's lower the price on this. Didn't we just lower the price on that? Let's lower it even more. Let's raise the price on the swinging ship. Nah, we'll leave that the same because everyone's just kind of getting on that anyway. We'll raise the price of the log flume because everyone loves the log flume. They would marry it if they could. Merry-go-round is already pretty cheap. Happy with that. That looks about right. How does this thing look? This thing looks fun. We want a line. We don't want a full line, but we want not an empty line either. Disgusting state of the paths in our park. I wholeheartedly disagree because I can spot almost no vomit. 
Yeah, I spotted two vomit in the entire park. Get over it. Come on, folks. Hey, Kako, how are you? Kako, amazing emoji artist and just amazing person and good friend Kako in the stream. How are you, Kako? My apologies if I was so engrossed in the game and I didn't see you before. How are you, Kako? Ah, are you an are you a roller coaster tycoon? Ite? I don't I don't know what to call someone who plays roller coaster tycoon. Are you a tycoon? Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess we could put an umbrella area over here, but people will buy umbrellas because everyone is just such a pigeon in this game. You know, they're pigeons. That's what they are. They're pigeons. I think we have enough money now to buy extremely expensive coasters with almost no reason. Doing pretty good today. Ah, that's good to hear. I had a sinus infection this week. My life was just absolute ass for a while. But that's good. Ah, you love Roller Coaster Tycoon. Ah, everything I imagined you to be then. Ah, that's so good. RCT is just, like... Visually, perhaps the- Ah! Balloon that has risen! Hang on a second. Stop everything we're doing. The greatest Easter egg in any game. We're going to pop the balloon in three, two, one. No, it's slightly moving. This is, was a bug that I spotted earlier. Okay, maybe the other one will work. Yes, there goes another balloon. Burger Bar will build that. Build every stall because it can give you an award for the best food in the country. And I don't know why that is, but I am vain and I need rewards. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll go ahead and do this. I guess they're complaining entrance to you. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's funny, like, you know, they don't really take the price of the rides into account, but they'll say that the park is too cheap in general. So, you know, YOLO. Uh, yeah, jack up that price. Thank you, I didn't see that before. I was so busy with the coasters. I like the idea of a really high entrance fee and then no prices on rides, like really cheap rides. Let's just get folks on the rides. I want to see the rides getting good use. And we should probably hire another mechanic now because this is getting... A little out of hand. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and hire... I don't know if this actually makes a difference. I've never really observed its effectiveness, but the security guard, just because I don't want people to destroy the benches. The entertainer, I haven't really noticed, make a big difference. But again, maybe I'm an idiot. Ferris wheel won it. See, this is, this is not a one-man job anymore. This is... My god, this is a really color clash. But I don't care. Everything's just going to be rainbow themed by the time that we're done okay now we're going to make an extremely wild ride we have five thousand dollars which is much too much for one man and i want something that goes all the way around the park and interacts with everything excitingly uh this is exterminator basically that's what this next ride will be uh we're gonna probably kill a lot of trees i think we're going to go for the ride that actually goes all the way around the park now you know actually we still haven't made enough money i hate to say it but like, what did this thing cost us? $5,000. This ride was a real waste. I should have just gone with more prefabs before, but... Oh well, oh well. Uh, let's build them a lot of other unnecessary things that they don't need. Guests can't get to the entrance of Burger Bar- Oh, alas, thank you for letting- Man, such great notifications in this game. Delete that path, good. Now we've got them on a single path, they won't get lost. And open sesame, see what I did there? Because it's a sesame seed bun. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, where did, where do these jokes come from? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Roller Coaster 2 is... Yeah, we clearly need those mechanics now. Let's see how people are enjoying the park. Are you enjoying the park, guests? Only four people on Swinging Ship 1. Okay, so we got to lower Swinging Ship 1's price slightly. Uh, because we lowered the rides, prices of the other rides. We want everything to kind of be in equilibrium, I suppose. Uh, we could do an ad campaign as well. I believe that ad campaigns in this game can be very profitable. But, um... Ferris Wheel 1 still hasn't been fixed because everyone is upset. We could do one of these normal rides while we wait. Take out more loan. I think I'm just going to build the mini cars. They do love mini cars. Who doesn't like a nice small car? Get into, like, a good Chevy Spark or something like that. And you just feel right, you know? Uh, okay. It's too bad you can't place that thing. Now, what is it? It tells me about the intensity. Yeah, tell me about the intensity. 
Entertainers are good for areas with long lines. Ah, that does make sense. I suppose that since we've mitigated the length of lines, we'll be fine for that for now. But yes. Uh, thank you for clarifying. Man, I learned so much about uh, a lot of games that I really don't know enough about when I stream with you guys. So thank you for that. Big entry fields don't scale well as ticket prices. That's true. That's true. I see what you mean there. Let's just kind of make this all natural. Mm. Food corridor spread around the park willy-nilly. Uh, maybe. I like having a lot of stuff at the entrance. It's because it kind of helps me gather my thoughts. We are probably going to need more benches, though, over there. Because people are going to be eating. They'll be sitting on their asses. And chewing. Let's do one of these. Help me make money! This game's financial uh, situation was actually pretty negotiable, too. Like, I gotta say this. It was not a game in which I confronted great frustration as a child, in which there were many simulation games in which I did. Uh, not to say that I was slow, but I was... Yeah, pretty slow. Pretty slow. Um, wait a second. Wait, hold... Hold the applause here. Hang on a second. There we go. We want a, we want a, a moderate line, but not too long, just so that we don't have to hire, you know, spend more money on entertainers. Oh, I could have just done this the whole time. Okay, well then let's have a fantastically long line. Look at that. Oh, they'll be waiting for days and they'll love it. There we go. It seems kind of counterintuitive that you need to go all the way to the end of the park to get on a gentle ride. You know, like if you're that gentle... You probably wouldn't be that willing to walk this far across the park, but it does seem like a very pleasant place to just kind of walk around and look at things and enjoy myself. You know? Hey, Dino626. Hey, thank you very much for uh, coming out. That's very nice of you. I'm making a food court somewhere in the middle-ish area to make a crossroads. See, now you have logic on your side. I didn't use logic when I made this park. I just... Uh, I used a different wrapper. Um... Ooh, look at this. Everyone's enjoying Water Slide 1. Be a shame if we're not free. I didn't realize that that was not free. One dollar is still a steal. I, I mean, I want to make it worth it for them to walk this far back in the park. Let's make everything a dollar and see how it scales from there. Six thousand dollars. Yes, yes. The profits will be immense. I do- I gotta say, though, I'm glad that guests buy the other balloons. They do- they do often wait. Oh, look at those people with their cotton candy! Eating them like... Fat, fat people! I like that. I like that about them. I like that. I like that they're eating my cotton candy and making me more wealthy. Here we go. More benches, just kind of spread out benches everywhere. We do want people to have places to rest, uh, otherwise, God, dear God, look, that man is going to throw up, certainly, he is going to throw up within the next five to ten seconds. <laughs> um, we'll just put more benches around here, more benches over here, just kind of random places. Uh, souvenir stall, I did once get the hat stall, uh, and people were just running around in hats, and dear God, what were they doing? Put that over there, and one over there, and one over there, that's good. Souvenir, or as I said as a child, a sylvanir. I don't know why I said that. They should have gotten me checked out or something. I guess souvenir kind of makes sense at the end. Like, you don't want to be carrying it around, you know. I would hate to carry around a souvenir. Or, God forbid, a sylvanir. Hey, Vorm's sending in a raid. We're getting a raid from Vorm. Hey, what's up, brother? How are you? I can't actually tab out right now because RCT is just such an old game and I haven't figured it out with my computer yet, but how are you? I was just thinking about you. I was thinking about CDDA the other day. I was thinking about, uh, I was thinking about, I was actually thinking about our, our great session together. Uh, I did really enjoy that. I, man, I really have just, I've not had like the bandwidth or headspace to go back to CDDA, but I'm like starting to feel a hankering. But what were you playing today? Damn. How are you, my guy? Snicko, hey, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Doing pretty well. I think we could hire another handyman. Let's have one guy mow the lawns. Because it's really just a waste. But, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to spend all of his time... All of his hard-earned time on that. There he goes. Yeah, uh, there we go. Don't water those gardens. Good job. Good job. 
Am I using open RCT2? No, we're just, uh, we're on the original RCT2. We're, uh, sorry, original RCT. And we're just kind of, you know, having a good time. We're just playing the normal uh, game, but... Yeah, we should probably check out some of the modding stuff. Or just UI. Hey, look, people are actually going on the roller coaster. Hey, 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 hey. It's too bad that there's no, like, nice way of just analyzing all of your prices. I think that these roller coasters are getting a tad bit expensive. And they can't really compete with the prefabs, unfortunately. But, you know, I can't complain. We're making money. The whole park is doing a lot better. We're now upping, we're, uh, we're rather, we're approaching um, $8,000. I'm thinking it's about time to get the entire park uh, circumnavigated with one of these. I know I've been using that word a lot. It reminds me of, like, Magellan or something. It's like I'm Magellan, but with a computer, you know. Hmm. Let's have, like, an abrupt ending to this thing right here. Here we go, we'll have the station over yonder. This is gonna be a, probably the biggest ride in the park. So I'm, it's gonna demand, uh, in fact, no. It's gonna demand a big station, big, big station. So maybe we'll do this somewhere where we don't have anything else. Yeah, we don't really have too much to enter into over here. I say this spot, I say this spot. What, what dost thou think? Mm. Checking out Core Keeper, ooh. See, you're always on to interesting stuff. I like to give that a try. Even seven days to die. I, I feel like I didn't give enough credit until I played alongside you. My good man, my good man. Hmm. This station is much too small. Do we have, like, another nice spot where we can just go straight for a long time in the park? You know, I... Mm, and I don't want to do it over the lake, because i got to avoid that lake. You know I don't like lakes or anything about them. Oh, look, we're going to collide with the balloon stall. You know what? No balloon stall, methinks. No balloon stall. I need to make way for this. This is much more important. Let's have something that goes all the way around. Very exciting. Mm, Merry-go-round one is broken down. Ah, uh, okay, this is the ride that can do the loops, the loops and the loops. Here we go, let's have a turn, let's have a turn. There we go, good. Okay, now we will start to go downward, and then we will begin the loop-de-loops as we go. Yes, we're having loop-de-loops, everyone. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this exciting? Balloon, and this is probably the most terrifying part of the ride, when you're just kind of being held horizontally. <laughs> There's a calculator for maximum price for each ride and the maximum price for entry for you. could check out Mars. Yeah, Marcel, I really should optimize if I'm going to play this game extensively. I just kind of did a few challenges that I thought looked interesting. But one of the reasons why I love this game is because you truly could go, like, really in-depth with this game. And that's why I, I, I appreciate the fact that he does that type of thing. Now, can we get an, a good S-bend going here? Can we do a loop-to-loop? -loop? Uh, he looks up. Vertical loop, S-bend left. Let's do an S-bend to the left because we got to uh, dodge that tree. I like a little bit of tree dodging, you know. Helix, come on, let's get the helix. Uh, nah, not the station platform. We could do a booster. That would be pretty exciting. Uh, nah. I'm thinking let's just go up a little bit more like this. Vertical loop, here we go. Vertical loop left. Come on. There we go. Yes, we got the loop-de-loops going. Okay. Um, will this be enough speed to get through the loop-de-loop? -loop? Uh, that, that is the question. Hang on a second. I think we're going to need to go back a bit, actually. I've got to have this thing go down faster and then loop-de-loop -loop sooner. Is it a loop-the-loop -loop or a loop-de-loop? -loop? This was always problematic for me. Uh, it comes down, comes down like maximum going down then that then this and yes here we go vertical loop left ah uh, that's more like it still probably not enough speed but i digress all right we've used up a lot of money man it would be a real shame if this thing didn't work 
I'm sure we could fix something if it doesn't work and just leave the rest of the coaster the same. Mm, he thinks raise or lower the land first. Okay, land. I will lower you. Every valley will be exalted and every hill and high place made low. I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, something like this. New ride attraction. Spiral slide? That sounds jarring and exciting. Too steep for hill lift. No. No, I don't think I want them going on chains. I don't want to break the momentum. Otherwise, we could just do another chain. We could just do another chain. Well, let's have it go over here. Um, we kind of want it to excitingly go past this thing. So let's go ahead and do... Mm, slight lower... No. Mm, no. Mm, we got to get higher. We got to get higher here. Uh, we did do one loop-the-loop. -loop. Oh, we could do a booster. Okay, maybe, yeah, one booster. 155, 155. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we could always just add in more boosters. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, me thinks, like, ride goes... for a slight turn. Be a shame if it were going to go to a slight turn like this. No, no. Okay, we bank it. We bank it. I see what we're going to do here. And we can't do that. If we go downward, though, can we do... Nope. So we just bank it. And then can we do... Yes, helix down, large. Now this is more like what I was looking for. Okay, helix down, large. What about helix down, small? That's not going to be enough space. We want it to go through the other one. Oh, I thought I said Helix down. Helix up? Helix... Jesus Christ! Helix up? Yeah, you know what? Let's do Helix up large. Nah, nah, this won't work at all. Helix down large. There we go. Alright. And then we get out of that Helix. And then we turn... I don't know why, but this is just like such an engaging process. Set the speed of the booster to... Oh, we could set the seat. See, I didn't even know that this existed in the game. Hey, thank you. Jesus, if I had known that, I would have played everything differently. He looks down large. Okay, this is kind of exciting. We don't want to make it too exciting, though. Otherwise, otherwise, no one will ever get on it. Everyone will die. And they'd rather not ride the ride. We've got $3,000 left to get back to the beginning. Um, I clearly still didn't have enough money... It does start. It does kind of look cool now, though. So maybe we could just turn, return to the station, and have this one go around this part of the. I don't know the the park. We'll have it go down and then up again. Yeah, let's give it a little bit of a straightaway in case if we made a mistake, just so we could add another booster if we had to. Um, or actually, why not just add in a booster just cause? Then we go up. Like a lot up. Uh, and then we go straight, and then we go around. Hmm. Then maybe we do another helix down. Or maybe like a big, big thing like this. Yeah, there we go. Nice big turn. My God, that was very expensive. And then we go this way, straight, and then we go very down. And then maybe like another loop-to-loop -loop here. Nope, they won't have enough momentum for that. Uh, it's always just so interesting when you get back and see the ride and then realize that all of your mistakes uh, are all of the mistakes you were making. Um, actually, we kind of got to be di back down at ground level. We'll try to bring it back over like here-ish. Let's just get it done first and see if it does more or less the thing that I want it to because I would be pretty disappointed if this ride just absolutely failed. Uh, yeah. There we go. And if we go, uh, maybe straight for another second and then down-ish. There we go. Okay, we're finally almost back down on the ground. But, yeah, like, a lot of practice with stuff like this and you eventually get good at the game. I'm not saying that I'm good at the game, but I'm saying that I, as a kid, I did spend more time on it.
Uh, here we go. Okay, good. I think one more, and then a tight turn in, and there we go. We made it back to the beginning. Entrance. Let's give this one a nice long line, a nice long queue, and then an exit. And we will test that out. So as it tests... Mm, you know, just like this. Do that, and then that, and then that, and then that. Because we get to have plenty of space, because I bet you that a lot of people will want to ride this ride. Okay, let's see how they did. Do you have enough momentum? Now we can get a crash here. It's always very exciting. And, oh, it did have enough momentum. Okay, let's see how I did. Booster, booster, okay. Did we have set those boosters to any speed? Hey, Ass Bear. Hey, thank you very much for the sub, Ass Bear. You know, we might even be able to add in another uh, loop to loop We can always go back into our coaster and change it up. I, I don't think it's as exciting as I thought it would be, but I just kind of wanted something that would work to begin with. So I think let's go back in. Clearly it works. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to kind of navigate around the coaster like this. Whoops. Go back down. Go back over here, and then we maybe change the speed of this... Let's just raise this maybe to a conservative 58 miles per hour. Then we raise this one maybe to another conservative 58 miles per hour. Ferris wheel one is broken down. Not as much as this thing's about to break down. Um, mm. There we go. Mm. Oh, yeah, we should get a picture booth. Yeah, maybe after the loop the loop That's true. That would make us more money. Uh, I didn't say any of that. I didn't say any of that, no. I wonder where the optimal point for the picture booth is. Like, maybe where it's very exciting. On-ride photo section. Great! Look at that. We could get them when they're all horrified. That would be the moment I would like on this. I would like somebody to take a picture of me after a great big loop. Ah, the haunted house. Well, actually, the haunted house is kind of dog shit. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe not the haunted house. Okay, I think we could add in another loop-to-loop -loop here, don't you think? Money! Um, <laughs> there we go, there we go, uh. Um, hmm. I think we'll need to go, yeah, we'll need to go straight up. Then we'll need to do another vertical loop right. Um. Uh, we gotta go all the way back to the beginning. If only that there were a way to click back to the start without having to do this a million times. Unless if there is, and I just don't know it. it, it probably something they added in in later games. We'll just kind of take out all of that track there. Whoops. There we go. And now they're playing, uh, The Beautiful Blue Danube by Strauss. Just the, the music choices in this game were also amazing. Ah, here we go. Okay, good. Vertical loop. Loop. Let's go. Uh, let's go right because we can always kind of bring it back out. Okay, I see how this is going to go. Uh, back to level ten, and then. Eh, okay, I see how this is going to work. We're just going to have to kind of delete some of this. Ooh, I can do that that way. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, Chris Sawyer, you did it again. I, I Why did I ever even... I swear to God, I didn't even ever doubt you. Such just such an amazing game this was. All right, here we go. Straight. Straight for maybe another. Nope. Straight, there we go. Then we have one of those, and there it is. Good. Now we've made it more exciting. Test. Uh, you don't want to kill anybody, otherwise that'll, uh, get rid of the money. Uh, last game that incorporated classical music, such a... Yeah, I mean, you know, on the one hand, like, some of the songs in this do get a little annoying. But on the other hand, uh, they're all classical music, so they do kind of... They do last. Let's set down the price of this a bit. Whoops. 50 cents. Scrambled eggs eventually is probably just going to become a free ride. Be happy or else. There we go. That looks a little dystopian, don't you think? Mm, 
there we go. Good. The loop is happening. And the next one, this looks like a slightly sketchier loop to loop. Uh, good, it is. Uh, but it did work. It did work. You know, it doesn't look like it gets so fast, but I, I think that's actually better because I think from my perspective, I am a bit of a maniac. Like, just psycho in terms of what I want these coasters to do. So I think that's fine. Uh, we It has a, a pretty awful color scheme, though. I'm thinking we make this one just like a... You know, the gold doesn't look bad on the water, but I, I want like solid black and white coasters. I think that would look pretty cool. Uh, let's just do this one in white. There is a prefab park that has this. I think it looks neat. Yeah, all the same colors. Let's just do white on white. Will that be too hard to see? Let's do black on white and then white on black. That's kind of cool, like yin and yang. Oh, damn it! Ah, damn it! No! Oh, God, why? We can fix this in some way. Uh, what if we lower the on right photo price? No, it's happening again! Jesus! They're all deeming it too exciting, or rather too intense. Hang on a second. First, I want to change the color scheme to look kind of cool. And then... Come on, how can you... How could you be so unreasonable? Of course, no, you'll love this ride. Is anyone going to get on my amazing... This is such a cool ride, though. It doesn't look too intense. All right, so we got to troubleshoot this because I've made too many cool coasters in this game that have all just kind of gotten passed up. Call it the Vormit... I will call it the Vormitorium. After the one, the only Vormithrax. If he'll allow it. Where do I rename? Vormatorium. Bless Vorm. <laughs> That's actually a great name for a coaster. <laughs> Why is it too intense though? I think it's I think it's not intense enough. See from my like troglodyte in, in uh, inspection. Well, let's just make sure that that is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and see the intensity rating of it. Ultra extreme. Oh, you kid. You kid. Excitement rating low. See, I object to this. I'm probably going to leave it there and just make it completely free. I, I doubt that anyone will ever come along. Remo remove a track so they all fall off and die. The Gs may get too high and low at some points. Having non-banked turns at high speeds tends to imp- Ah. I see what you're saying, Kako. Okay, this makes a little bit a little bit more sense. So actually banking the turns. Ah, so that might be one spot where we need to bank the turn. Wow, I actually hadn't even thought of that. You know, you're right. Okay, if we go back in, let's try to right these wrongs. Right these wrongs. If we can do this. Hey, this would actually be kind of a victory, though, you know? Uh, banked turns shouldn't be too bad. G-Force increases intensity, so turn down the boosters and put a break in before they... Ah, uh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. That makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so then what I'm kind of feeling is that right here, uh, there's really no point in having these banked turns. So let's just do this. Um, yeah, and then I think we do this. And then I think for the next segment, we just do that normal at... Yeah, this is just a normal ass turn that we need right here. You feel me on that? Pretty sure that's just a normal ass turn. Okay, and then we go into a normal ass drop. Okay, this normal ass drop is fine. But if we keep going over here... Photo section, that's fine. Okay, this part looks not so sketchy. Then the turn rebanks. I think that's fine. Okay, but we might want to bank this turn, actually, is what is what you're saying to me. Is what you're saying to me. Oh, we unlocked a hedge maze! I do enjoy the hedge maze. Hmm. Okay, so me thinks... Me thinks... Hang on a second. Me thinks... Bank that. Bank that, soldier boy. There we go. And... Oh, no, we just collided with the other ride. Okay, it's fine, because you know what we could probably do is this. This is kind of extended out a little bit further. Uh, and then maybe do an S bend in there. Okay, so let's just do that. We'll uh, connect it in the boring ass way. Um, mm. Okay, so go straight for like 10 more dollars. 
And then we'll make a, a turn here, uh, or rather we'll bank. And then we'll make a turn, yep. Just like that. Go straight, and then turn again. Uh, a little weird. Mm, okay, we'll just make a bigger turn. It's getting very expensive. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, uh, I'm thinking S-Bend. Okay, we'll do an S-Club 7 bend into the end. There we go. Uh, hmm. Ain't no bend like an S-Club bend. There we go. Uh, hmm. Mm, S-Bend left. There we go. No one could bend it like S-Club. Roller Coaster 2 is broken down. There we go. So then we extend in here and... Let's try that out. That's a start. That's a start. Open. You'll probably be fine. Actually, we might we might legitimately kill someone here. But, you know, I wouldn't want you to leave without that. So, yeah, well, we're just going to do this. <laughs> uh, hey, Crashman40. Hey, thank you very much for the five gift subs. Thank you, Crashman40. Uh, what can I do for you, Crashman40? Hey, thank you. Look on the graphs to see the problem areas. Oh, maybe the problem areas. Okay, that's a good... Po Ooh, what an what a outstandingly good idea. Ah, uh, vertical Gs, altitude, velocity. Okay, this is actually a great way to analyze the coaster. Well, let's go see if these... I don't think that they'll die, but they might die of the intensity. It looks like a lot of people are uh, staying away from it because of the intensity. Guessing they'll live, unless if they just go back. We've got currently two people on the ride. They're all kind of eyeballing it suspiciously. Another two brave souls have ventured to possibly die for entertainment. We're like, yeah, it's fine. Just get on it. <laughs> Just, I'm a little bit concerned. What usually happens would be that this ride would start falling back. And then, I mean, it is a completely free ride right now. I, I'll grant them that. Uh, wait a second. We want to see graphs. There we go. Okay, so the velocity has risen. Let's see where the velocity... I mean, the velocity looked fine the entire ride, I thought. Okay, and it does barely make it through the loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's actually an improvement. Uh, as far as altitude, I don't think that that altitude looked too high. Uh, vertical Gs and... Okay, lateral Gs. Oh, this is interesting. I never really saw this. I guess I just never looked at it that way. Well, we do have some people, and I do like having one very scary coaster that no one gets on. Vertical Gs and lateral Gs. I'm thinking it's probably because the lateral Gs... We probably don't want this thing hitting over... Max is at about 3 Gs. But the lateral Gs go over 3 Gs at one point. So let's go ahead and see this. Is it still recording it? Damn it. Hang on a second. If we just X out of the ride and then we look at it again. Oh, maybe this is over the course of the ride. So, like, over there at the very end of the ride. Yep, I think that's where it is. I think they're feeling a lot of Gs there at the very end. Okay, so we just get rid of that or maybe we put in brakes after the loop-de-loop. -loop, uh, and then I think that it'll be a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and close the ride. See, this is good. This is what this game is about. This game is about learning to do the coaster. And my god, look, I was an idiot. I totally messed it up. Okay, so let's go over here, and then we just add in a break section there. Special, let's make that breaks. Oops! I accidentally deleted them. Uh, it's fine. We'll just put them there. I don't think we'll need two of them. I think that's enough. Open for business again. This will definitely work. Don't question it. Everyone get on the ride. Now. Good. One guy. We are at least getting a slow trickle of people here. Hey, Android. Hey, welcome in. How are you? Uh, you'll probably live. You'll probably be fine. Get on the formatorium. Ah, oh, yes, there they go. Some vandals are in our park. I don't like that. 
I mean, it kind of speaks to how good a job we do. Or at least, I'll say this. When you go for complex, you kind of got to know what you're doing. I don't really know what I'm doing, so this first coaster being very basic was probably good for our park. Um, and in that case, prefabs are very good too. But it is fun to just kind of like, you know, make mistakes and kind of learn about the game. Is it still free? I do believe that the ride is still free, so we need to charge people something. But I think that these are probably people who just enjoy intensity to begin with, so they wouldn't mind paying another $3. Um, potentially with which they could risk uh, their life. Here we go. Let's watch them. I'll have a good time. Yeah, this game, I mean, you know, it does kind of give you... It would, could probably make you interested in, like, physical engineering as a kid. I don't know. What else... What other good interest does this game bring out? A lot of the games that I enjoyed as a kid were like that, too. Brought out something. Like, there's another one called Space Cam, which is a great game. I had a friend who became like a, an actual robotics engineer and he played a lot of space chem. It almost looks like that they're picking up speed on some of these areas. Amazing that they have enough speed to get into that thing though. Yeah, barely. <laughs> barely. <laughs> okay, well we are starting to get a couple of takers. Yeah, it could definitely use some improvements. It's probably not very well optimized. Maybe it's even costing us money. But I kind of just wanted... Okay, there we go. Now we're getting people getting on this thing. They've they've witnessed the fact that others have lived on the ride. Okay, now they're willing to get on. It may not be a very fun ride, but... Um, I mean, in particular, I would be horrified of this loop. It just sort of stalls out. But uh, fortunately, rides in this game do behave somewhat predictably. They don't just randomly... At least as far as I recall, just go off the rails. Oh, we're getting healthy uptick in our... Um, personage here. Now, have we met the scenario goals? It's usually pretty easy to meet these. I haven't really paid much attention to it as we've uh, as we've begun. Oh, Jesus Christ, we got a raid from uh, Robaz. Jesus, man. Oh, I gotta send you a raid, one of these. I've just always been streaming at these late times. How are you, my friend? Hey, thank you for, uh, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders from Robaz. Jesus Christ. What were you guys doing? I can't actually tab out right now because uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon is just so old. It's so old. It's so goddamn old. I don't even think I need to ask about this game because it's just such a classic. Uh, you've played this, right? Uh, can I name a ride after you, though, in your honors? In your, I mean, in your honor? Stormworks is Stroke. What is Stormworks? What is Stormworks? Jesus. Hey, it's T-Train. Thank you very much for the sub. Oh, Storm... Oh, like, is that a... Oh, is Stormworks, like... Oh, you guys were playing so oh, I gotta try that out. Hang on a second. You have good taste. Good taste you have. Oh, wait a second. Not oh, wait. Now I gotta try this thing out. You know, I've been checking out Heroes Hour. I'd recommend that. Ah. Man, RCT is just such a cur- Look, they're shitting on all of the benches. Okay, this is really getting out of hand. They've just- just really fat people. Like, explosively fat. Humans have been coming into the park, just either that or like people who just sit down with such great momentum that the seat breaks. I don't know, how is this possible? How can this happen? Okay, we're, we're gonna hire a third mechanic because they aren't doing their jobs enough. And I do think that the, the second security guard is warranted and probably another handyman because look at all of the vomit. Uh, probably many more of them. I just mismanaged this entire situation. And I'm having a good time with it, I gotta say, though. I'm, I'm really enjoying mismanaging the, uh, the vomit situation. I do like it. Second game I ever played, the first one was shooting at those chickens in 2 d Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you know, I went and I, I splurged and I bought a Game Boy Player on eBay because I felt like that there were just so many gems from the past that I needed to do. It was like a comfort food, sort of. Is that guy sitting on a broken bench? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. I disliked in this game, though, how everyone came to the park as an individual. Like, I would probably not ever go to a roller park. A roller park. Wow, where am I? A uh, roller coaster tycoon park alone. Either that or if I did, it would just be a... Maybe it would be a really good time to go to a, role, uh, a theme park alone. Guests are complaining. I agree with the guests. Yeah, they're right. 
Um, now, they will be mowing some of the lawns. Let's make sure only one handyman is responsible for the mowing, because otherwise they just get a little too carried away with the mowing, if you ask me. We could set areas, but I'd rather just avoid it, because it's a bit of a pain. Uh, but yeah. The Vormatorium... Yeah, the Vormatorium is doing very... God damn it, the Vormatorium is broken down... Already? Alright, we're going to need to charge a lot more for the Vormatorium. Come on, you gotta pay, uh, you gotta pay up to get on the Vormatorium. Dollar fifty for a photo. Now, why is everyone... Let's go ahead and look at the macroeconomic data. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at these. Look at how the heads jumble around. Isn't that nice? You love that. Oh, I love that. Okay, they need to go to the bathroom. It's too crowded here. The Vormatorium. Oh, they actually did enjoy the Vormatorium. Wow. So happy with that. You hex edited your... Oh, I gotta go ahead and try that. Maybe I'll go ahead and hex edit my RCT to fix that widescreen. You're right, that is a little... Ah, uh, that would be nice. I fear, though, that I would, like, crash the game or something. I think I had to do that with another game, though, to get it running. Ooh, hedge maze! I do actually enjoy constructing these hedge mazes. Um, but I might do a prefab here. Hmm. Yep, for GameCube. Yeah. I don't know, I, I hadn't bought any retro stuff. The thing that pains me is that I sold uh, my original Pokemon games. I know, like, not not the original, original ones. Like, you know, used ones that I had bought a few years ago. Um, on eBay a while back when they were, like, 30 bucks. Now they're worth, like, 100 bucks a piece. <laughs> uh, so I was just like, ah, I feel really stupid. Um, but I'm also just like, hey, you know... If I could do them on stream, it would kind of justify it to me more. I would just want one from each generation. Because, uh, actually, Nintendo has allowed more uh, content creation on their games over time. I believe it was at the end of 2019, or... When was it? Somewhere that they kind of put out an official statement that they could, um... That they were, would allow more people to do content on their games. Uh, which, I, I believe it was very, like, limited before that... But it's, it's nice to see them do that. Let's go ahead and add in a couple more bathrooms because we really don't have enough. There we go. Uh, and let's... Ooh, balloon! Yes! Ah. But yeah, I don't know. I was just feeling so much like retro gaming nostalgia that I had to share it with you guys. And I was happy to see that a lot of people liked SimCity, so I decided to do that. Anyway, the next video is on uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, so that'll be a fun one. Uh, damn it, they're destroying all of my trash cans. Not only using them, but also destroying them. Maybe I really should set out these paths. Okay, I'm going to play the game right for a few minutes. Um, yeah, maybe we'll actually put out some mechanic areas. Because they should be able to handle this. Uh, I'm going to assign one of them to the front area of the park. Okay, you, Uniform Handyman 1. Whoever you are. You get these blue foot areas. It gets so confusing to spot the footpaths later on, though. Okay, you're responsible only for sweeping up the vomit over here. I think that's pretty good. We give this guy, like, the whole full front half of the park. Hopefully that's... You know what the numbers are. How much can one man handle? Can you handle that amount of vomit, Handyman 1? I certainly hope that you can. Handyman 2. Handyman 2. Now, we do get that nice outline of your areas, so we're going to go ahead and... Assigned you over to here, Handyman 2, you get the left side, or the right side of the park. I guess this is, uh, we can't really see his other footpath there, god damn it. There we go, and, man, I get so upset when I play this game. But I'm having a great time, I'm having a great time. I can't tell, what is this theme? Is this the... What is the name of this song that's currently playing in the background? I feel like Notre Dame plays that at football games. Like the college. Isn't that like their, uh, isn't that their, their fight song? Just because that's such a familiar song. My dad watched a lot of, uh, Notre Dame football when I was a kid. What is the, what is the original name of that song? It's like we're gonna get, uh, I don't know, Newt Rockney and George Gipp come out of nowhere when they're playing that. I think that they would make for great guests. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Am I, any, foot, any college football fans in here? Well, regardless. Okay, I think we've got the vomit situation a little bit more under control. We've at least got people assigned to the areas. Uh, in fact, this might be a bit much for this one gentleman, so let's take him off of some of that. Uh, okay, that, that's plenty of vomit for one man to be spending his day with. Let's have this... Oh, you thought you could mow the grass. 
I thought I got rid of that responsibility from you. You are not to mow the grass. I think we'll just hire one guy to mow the grass in general, because no one's ever really complained about the grass. Mowing the grass. Admiring the grass. There we go. All right. I think we've got all the footpaths uh, assigned. It is a little bit of a better way just to make sure that your guys cover all the areas because sometimes they just stand around and do nothing. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, this game, I don't know. I got a little inspired by uh, that old Jay Schlatt video where he did Open TDD. That was a very good video. He really did a good job on those videos. You got to give him credit, like I said before. I don't think I've ever mowed the grass in this game. I don't know if mowing the grass is a total waste of time. Maybe it looks it makes it look slightly clean. I think it looks slightly more attractive. But the truth is that, look, if you want to get the grass to stop looking bad, I don't think bad grass does anything, but all you got to do is that. I mean, it's not costing me any money, right? I don't see my money changing. My money appears to be still there. It's still there in the bank. So yeah, I think we're fine with that. You just gotta be careful that you don't accidentally spend a lot of money. Because look at how bad the grass gets. But unfortunately that does... Look what I'm about to do. I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. Uh, I just undid that mowed grass. So, a little unfortunate, but I don't think it's worth it to do it until the very end. If at all, it just seems decadent. Look, he's mowing the... Yeah. We, we don't need to do that. Okay, it looks like that the vandalism is slightly lowered. Let's hire one more security guard because we get the money. We get the money. Um, can we assign them areas too? We could assign them areas. Maybe a good idea. But I've never actually seen the security guard at work, nor have I observed a guy breaking a bench. Like, are some people just so full of hate and spite? Hatred and spite that they will just destroy cans? I mean, it could just be that it's so full, but I've never observed a can get completely destroyed. What are they making them out of? Tin foil? Like, the land before aluminum foil, we should have named the park. <laughs> oh, are we anywhere near the scenario objective? We're at April year three. We are coming near to the end now. Uh, 500 guests. Well, we have many more than that. Park rating of at least 600. 800. Um, yeah, all we really got to do is clean off some paths. Like I said, I wasn't even paying attention to the scenario goals basically at all in this, and we still did great. Hey. Hey, Cluckin' Kentuckin'. Hey, thank you. <laughs> That's a great name. Hey, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated, my friend. I think we can make the boat hire free. Let's just get people on rides that have nobody on them. I've clearly done all the goals of this scenario. Brass doesn't do anything but does look good to the player. Okay, so it's just a total waste. There's a couple things like that. Parkitect, I've not actually played. It looks good, though. Um, I, it's really one of those games where there's just so many games that I would like to play. And I'm just like... Probably one I would have bought if I didn't have a channel. You know, I gotta say, when you have a YouTube channel, uh, you, you do end up, at least probably for the first couple of years of my channel, I think that this has kind of started to die down now. You do kind of got to play games in one niche if you want to get any views. Um... But I feel like that that envelope is kind of expanded to fit all of my gaming tastes. So I'm thank very thankful for that. I, I don't say that enough. Um, I, I do think that the whole channel kind of reflects what I, what I completely enjoy about gaming now. I, the one exception I would say would be games that are kind of like competitive or uh, addictive. Like FPS games, MOBAs, stuff like that. But I, I find that you get kind of unhealthy tendencies when you get into games like that. You know what I mean? Like, quite literally, just addiction. Oh no, the Vormatorium has broken down. I love the Vormatorium, my favorite ride of them all. Let's put in another beverage area, because... Drank, you know? Um, mmm. Mmm, drank. <laughs> uh... Well, actually, somewhere very far away on the park, because... They need it. Tempt them with fur uh, purple plurp. Mm. People become vandals when they get mad, so it kind of becomes a spiral and it gets out of hand. Oh, Jesus. Have fun going back to Stormworks. Gotta teach Robert how to make a real... S Man, maybe I should try this Stormworks too. Look at all the umbrella edge. God, they're so prepared. They're so prepared. That's nice. Hey, Beers of War. Thank you for the sub. Now, let's see what people don't like about the park. The value is... Uh, here's our cash. We could start to pay off more of our... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just get totally out of debt. 
I think we'll just pay back our entire loan here. Because why not start there, right? Even though the scenario doesn't really have that as a goal. Can we start to loan other people out money now? Like new theme parks that are beginning? Uh, one thing I haven't really done is just zoom out. You really can admire this game, you know, just by zooming out a little bit. It's nice. It's nice to look at it. Make sure that all of our rides are being used. Zero people on Roller Coaster 2. Why would they ever not get on Roller Coaster 2? Those slobs. Let's make it free. If you won't get... Or half price. Half price. At least start at that. Uh, Roller Coaster 2. Okay, they're getting on the ride. Good. I just like it when people are on the rides. I don't necessarily care. It's like the most altruistic theme park. We just want you to have fun. Hmm... Okay, zoom out again, just to kind of do some Myron. Uh, see, isn't that nice? Look at how small everything is. It's like looking into a little ant farm. And we haven't even really used up the whole footprint either. But we do have one ride that kind of intermingles with the others in the park. And that's really why I... That's the whole reason why I play this game, is to watch the rides intermingle like art. I mean, I would not feel safe on that thing, but it just looks really cool. Hey, pity me dearly. Oh, that's a great name. Hey, th thank you very much for uh, coming out. Uh, good. The Vormatorium is back open again. People are enjoying it. People are loving it. Hmm. Maybe it'll be fun to make a food court on the water. Ooh, that's a great idea. Ah, oh, I wish I had thought of that. Um, but I, I am streaming this, so I can steal your idea. Uh, haha. <laughs> hey, thank you, silly idea. Uh, what a, what an awfully convenient name you have. For me, i about to just destroy your entire career. Uh, hang on a second. Did I not even notice this before? Land slope unsuitable. I don't like that. Oh, wait a second. We didn't even do that right. There we go. Mm, oh, we've got to have it with this kind of thing. Right, yeah, so, you know, let's try that. Let's see if we can get this thing going. Ah, uh, no, uh That would look kind of cool, though. I feel like that would be a nice finishing touch. It might not be a coaster, but it, it is pretty. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. Mm, I think that this one looks very nice. I think that this one looks very nice indeed. So if we just send the people out... Add this like this. Oh, look at that. That's nice. And then we give them a way of crossing over to the other side. Let's just go straight across. And please don't... Yes, they didn't even collide. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at them go. Look at them go. Oh, Jesus. We opened up a whole new artery in our park. Amazing. Oh. Comparing the human biological system... To a collection of pixels. It feels nice. It feels nice, I gotta say. Okay, so let's see. Can we build the cotton candy directly next to it? Can we build it under... No, that's not what I... What kind of idiot would have built it there? I genuinely don't know how you do this without raising up the land. Have ever played Transport Tekken? Open TTD. Open TTD a little bit. But I've not had the same experience with it as I did with this game. Um, but I do like it. Cotton candy for the mo for the mer people. Control. Oh, control click. No, not control click. Uh, but it was a good suggestion. Thank you. Um. Oh, control click will raise it up and. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? I wish I had known that for the video. Because uh, uh no no, uh, that didn't work either. Hmm. What am I to do? I mean, I could raise up the land underneath it. Maybe shift? Yeah, how do you do that? I'm sure that there was a way to do this. Um, it could be an open RCT or RCT2, but I feel like you're right as well. Maybe you make the path level with the water. Or maybe, what if I just do this? How now, brown cow? What if I do um, this? I take the path, and I do something like this. And then let's say, like, bring it over here. And then say that we want an area for stalls over this way. And we say, build it directly on top of that. 
Uh, actually, cotton candy is quite a terrible idea here because it's bad for your soul. Man, why is the security guard out there in the middle of nowhere? Footpath in the way? No. Um, yeah, there's got to be some kind of hotkey. That, hang on a second. Really quick look through the controls. Uh, no, no. I don't actually know the control for that. I will have to look that one up. Uh, does anyone know that off the top of their... Yeah, let me try sh Let me try shift again. Maybe I was just messing it up before. Thank you Thank you for the help on that. I honestly... I thought that that was just a capability that didn't exist yet in this game. Yeah, maybe it's just misreading it. Or maybe they can buy cotton candy from there. And the game's like, it's fine. It says shift and move up. Then control will align to stuff near it. Hmm. Shift and then up. Okay, so let me try that. Shift then up. I'll try the shift then up key. I'll try it a couple ways and then if I can't get it to work, then I'll just cry in upsetment. Uh, that didn't work. Control, shift, a lot of... Di uh, raise the land then. We could raise the land then lower it. That's true. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go default to that. Let's do this. We'll raise the land. Maybe if we have the land raised, then and I, I just I really want to see this once and for all because this, this has been kind of frustrating me this week. Nah, okay, I can't. I don't think it can happen. Either that, or maybe there is is, is a way, but I just don't see it immediately in front of me. Um, okay, so now we're level with the land. So then we build this, and I do know for a fact that you can lower the land after you've uh, done it. Let's sell one more balloon. Let's just give everyone a paralyzing number of balloon choices at this point in the park. Okay, there we go. And then we lower that land. That's pretty good. We make it look a little bit more believable with the stilts, although there's really no point to those. Um, we raise that, but it's closed. How are you buying the balloons? Are you stealing those balloons? Let's sell black balloons. Um, mm. Satisfying. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this game was pretty satisfying. Shift mouse movement, but it... Uh, maybe it's just an open RCT. Well, alas. Unfree balloon day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh... Oh, where are we? May year three. Let's make sure we get all the way to the very end. I do want to give you the satisfaction of getting a job well done. How is our parks rating doing anyway? I don't know how to access that from there. So let's just click on the entrance. All right. 500 guests. I don't think that 400 of them will leave. Our park rating has gone way up. So yeah, I mean, a kid-friendly game. We don't have any recent awards, but can we see historic awards? We did have the biggest disappointment award. That was... Uh, a regrettable award, but uh, also one that I'm kind of proud to display. I think it would be... <laughs> I would want that just to show how far everything has come. Fall right out of the sky. Either that or maybe we could just build some kind of smashing uh, coaster prefab. That would be nice. Uh, we don't have any money. Let's just see what some awesome coasters look like. I think that would be kind of neat. There are some pretty crazy designs for um, the wood one. And we do have a lot of space in the back here. So let's go ahead and take out a lot more money in our loan because that doesn't actually affect anything from this challenge and I was paying it back for no reason. And let's just build something outstandingly large and intense in the back. Uh, because why not? You know, when you came here, I want, a, I want a grand finale to this. Oh no, it's raining. Ah. Can't lower land tree in the way. Ah, it would be nice if they had slightly better land sculpting. I guess you could just get rid of that though. Here I go complaining again. It's like complaining is my job. Ah, man, like that. I know you can't hear it as well because I lowered the background music, but that nice pitter-patter of the rain because this game's volume can get really, really obnoxious. It just feels right. There's something right about raindrops as expressed by part of particle effects in video games. Don't you think? Don't you feel me on that? Yeah, <laughs> water shopping center. Okay, this looks outstanding. I don't know why they made some of these things so big in the... Like, who the hell could fit that in their park? I want something large. I want you to see some of the bigger prefabs. Okay, let's take this all the way to the end. Bring it around town, you know? that That's what we're going for here. 
Mm, tree, no, get out of the way, trees. Here we go, $10. That's actually very cheap to remove an entire tree. It costs thousands of dollars to remove a tree in real life most of the time. Um, mm, perilous task, perilous task it is. Mm, get rid of these trees. There we are. Okay, we'll put this nearby the car people just to intimidate the car people because they seem to fear everything. Flight of the Phoenix. That doesn't look anywhere near as large as this thing. We're going to have to actually zoom out to see this thing's entire footprint. That's clearly even too large for this. Um, we could do this one, but I want something even bigger and denser than that. Maybe we could get a wooden coaster here? Some of the prefabs in this game were amazing. Or maybe I could give you like a really big wooden wild mouse coaster because this thing is... Nah, it's a, it's a very compact design. It's a cool coaster, but it, it's not as kind of epic as the other ones. Epic in the true sense of the word. Not just epic like, epic, you know. Balloon shop in the pathway. On yeah, that is kind of nice. I would probably do like a whole whole bunch of those things. My God, look at this. Who is this for? See, this looks a little bit more like it. Dense. Ah, uh, this is a good coaster, I can already tell. Uh, some of these I don't even know, though. I felt like they had more names back in the Xbox version when I played it. Okay, can we fit this in there? Ooh, ah, uh, still too big. Seventeen. This one was from 1797. You can always tell. Okay, this is like the perfect footprint. Let's do that. Uh, we'll find some way to path it. It just looks like an interesting ride. We can't actually see it visually, unfortunately. Can we turn it? Um, mm, not really. So let's just do this. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I kind of hate the color, but uh, let's do something else. Hate, hate the color. Hate the color. For rides like this, I like them to look an intense color. Something like just very extreme white or black. Like you're going to die on this ride. <laughs> oh, it's actually two coasters in one. Now that's kind of neat. Uh, yeah, there are some prefabs like that. I totally forgot. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, can we change one without the other? Or are they technically one ride? Maybe it's one ride with two station platforms where it's coordinated launch. I'm not sure. Um, we do need to add in the entrance and exit, though. Entrance. And it'll all have to be on stilts. Hmm. Actually, I'm just going to go for the entrance. Yeah, two entrances and two exits. Yep, this is that kind of ride. Okay, that's wild. You know, if we do this over here. Now, the thing is that, can you imagine, like, what kind of genius would it take to path this whole thing out? Which was why this game has prefabs. And I do appreciate the prefabs for that reason. Um, hey, silly Alex. Welcome in. How you doing? Hey, Charizard Revenge. How are you? Mm, can we buy land on this map? Most of the maps I've been on, I haven't been able to buy land. But a lot of them you can, yeah. You know, I hadn't really considered that. Maybe it's after the challenge ends. Land not for sale. Okay, so, uh, yep, some of the land we could buy. But look, it's really not that much of the land. How much is the land? $90 for land. Wow. It's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, I think all we got to do is path this back. And we'll make it a very gaudy, long path at that. So I want to make sure I have my cues of the right length first. Ooh, bumper cars, bumper cars. Everyone loves bunker, uh, bunker, bunker cars. Bunker cards, yeah, whatever they are. Okay, this is going to be an amazing ride. So let's just do this. Path this back here, and looks like we've got to go down one, but I'm not going to be too worried about this. Let's just do it as thus. There we go, and... Yes, we could just go straight back into the original path. Good. Um, hmm. Uh, we'll just do this, and then path back in directly, like that, and then around town. There we go. Good. Ah, oh, yes. And now we will have them go both go simultaneously. Everyone loves simultaneous launching. 
Uh, how the hell are we going to get the footpath over there? God only knows. Okay, well, let's just do this. Um, we have received a word for the tidiest park in the country. All of the vomit is cleaned up. That's great. I love it when the vomit gets cleaned up. Mm, let's just keep it on an even keel with this other one. Uh, over there, and then this. I am kind of starting to see the, the joy of modern... Look, we could just completely get rid of the support for that loop-to-loop, -loop and nothing changes about it. Awesome, right? Yep, these two are more or less the same, it does appear. And we'll just kind of run this one back around that way. And then there, and then to that thing, and then... Uh, there we go. Let's just start up a new one. And then build this around. Uh, water side one is broken down. We might even need another mechanic at this point. I think I'm very happy with this park. I think we could change the balloon coloration, but that's a pretty minor thing. I don't know why. I just get I get very upset when the balloons aren't like variationed in their colors. You know. Uh, good. It, it was it was actually fantastic that we left that space there. Then a little hard to tell what's going on visually too at times, but. There we go. And since we know that it's a prefab, we know that it'll work. And let's open and open. And then they automatically go together. Uh, let's make it a little bit of money. But at this point, who really cares? Okay, they, are getting the, they aren't getting the jump, it's too intense for me thing. But they are getting the I reject this coaster type of thing. Hmm. Bunker cards. <laughs> Bunker cards. Look, someone's getting on it. Someone's getting on it. Uh, why is this other station platform not? I guess they gotta have another car park at that spot. Well, people are getting on, in fact. All right, uh, maybe it's uh, gonna be a while till they make their way to this part of the park. It's a little bit remote out here, to be fair. Let's go ahead and advertise our park on TV. Not that button, not that button. Yes, here we go, advertising. Uh, campaign for the park. Let's just do it. Uh, four weeks. Everyone come in. Our park is done. Our park is ready. We love you. We, uh, we do love you. There we are. Come in. All people who generically look exactly the same and ride roller coasters. Hmm. I think that... We'll have to trace this thing. I think it just goes in one end and comes out the other. It's like digestion. Except, uh, you know, you don't, of course, drink your own, you know, uh, deposits that you uh, put... D this is such a boring ride, considering how dangerous it looks. Wow. I mean, it looks cool architecturally. Maybe it's just that I think things are supposed to go as fast as possible. Hmm. All right. Bumper cars. Bumper cars now, I suppose. Bumper cars. Let's have some bumper cars. Now, one of the joyous occasions I wish to share with you about bunker bars uh, is this. If you build up, like, one bit of land, you can do this as long as the supports fix it. I believe it's considered a gentle ride, though there's nothing gentle about bumper cars. You're hitting other people. Um, I like those rides where you, st you start to... You need surgery after the ride. You know those kinds of rides? There we go. See, that's kind of cool, right? How you can build the... Uh, I, l I do love that about this game. Um, let's do that. And then, fortunately, the path tools were pretty easy to use here. So even though that we have had the height thing kind of disagreeing with us a bit, a little bit every here and there, it is doable. And bumper cars are pretty popular. People like them. I, I, would, s I would dare say in this game, as much as they do in real life, uh, oh, alas, no, we actually made it too high accidentally. Right, I, I we're we're close enough to the end of this scenario that I don't think it'll make a big difference. Let's just do it. Um, whoops, permanent damage there. Good, good. There we go. Okay, so then we open that up because everyone who doesn't love bumper cars and let's make it in. I've been enjoying this kind of black and white theme throughout the park. It just looks very extreme and intense. Let's make the rooftop of that white. And then, cool. All right, that's happening. Okay, people are making way to the boring coaster of death and confusion. 
Uh, now I am confusion. Oh, we can get the rock music. Okay, let's turn off the merry-go-round music because I'm sick of it. You're sick of it too. I know you are because we've been... Mm, where is it? Where is the goddamn merry-go-round music? I truly hate it. Where is it? No, truly, where is it? Carousel? We could make a carousel? Something other than a carousel? How do I turn off that goddamn music? Can I at least see it on here? Hmm. Yeah, I swear there was some spot where we could do that. Far right tab. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, there's other styles? Alright, I'm tired of that. Yeah, so what I was referring to was that I like the music from this more. Alright, so we have the Dodgems beat style. Ooh, we could do a space style. I wonder what that sounds like. Ooh, that's actually rather, um, foreboding. Yeah, you know, kind of like in The Sims, this game had a, a foreboding, uh, bizarre, sometimes dark sense of humor or backstory. I do kind of like the rock music, though. though. This makes me feel like I'm at a rave, you know? Uh, like some, maybe not a rave, but like a, a club where people are, you know, shaking, shaking things around. Yeah, and that's, that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> where, where, where are we going with this? Um, I don't think that's happening in the bumper cars, but um, it depends what they're bumping, you know? Yeah, yeah, you like that. All right, let's get more balloon colors because I think that's the whole point of the end of this challenge. Either that or I'll just uh, kind of zoom out and admire all of our work. It is nice. You know, we didn't really get everything. I felt like if I were working a little bit faster, if I weren't streaming, probably I would have done a little bit more. Um, that's my subtle way of blaming you. Um, <laughs> no, but of course I'm kidding. That's always kind of true, though, whenever you stream a game. You never really play your best when you're streaming. You know what I mean? Some people come after me like this, like, uh, you're an idiot, and I hate you, AA. And they say mean, bad things. Uh, and I deserve it. I really deserve it. But understand that I have streamer blindness, too. Hmm. I don't want to block out that tree because the trees are our friends, but I certainly want more balloons. Uh, I just always enjoy doing this at the end of the park, just putting in every single balloon color. So I, I think we'll just finish it off with this. We'll get, yes, yellow balloons. You love all of those colors. We're also going to need probably green balloons so that we can get that full Google suite of colors. You know, g apparently Google uh, has uh, popularized the thought that green is a primary color, though I guess it kind of makes sense with the whole programming thing. You know, Google's logo is green, red, blue, and yellow. I always thought that there was something a little bit more primary about green. You know, the RGB. I suppose that does sort of make sense. I'll do purple here. I think that's good. And right, we're starting to get all the balloon colors. You know, at the very end of the park, when we do meet our goal, uh, every single person in the park will release their balloons at once, which is just simply a magical sight. It's very nice. Um... Mm. I don't know, what's your, uh, I'm kind of curious what you guys like. What, what is your favorite ride in the park? Uh, I'll tell you mine when you tell me yours. I'm kind of curious. I don't want to bias vote, though. Uh, for me, it's, uh, you probably know which one is my favorite, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Which one do you like? Uh, so just describe it. Describe it. Mm, I mean, like, the water is nice. The moving water, I got to say, is nice. Or is this, I mean, the entire park, it's not a very good park. I'm not going to lie. This is not a very good one. Yeah, yeah, I feel like any, uh, yeah, my ride is kind of trash. But I still feel like that even with anything custom, it just, it fits the landscape better. You know, like, I got to say that I like, I mean, maybe this is vain of me, but I like my own ride. I'm, I'm dating myself a little bit here. But my ride is better than the other ones simply because it fits the, the footprint, you know, like you gotta, you gotta play to the land. I love those rides that go underground and then overground. 
and so on and so forth until there's no more ground to be gotten. But even this ride, although it's probably the most beautiful prefab I've ever seen, I find it boring in this game simply because it's just on flat ground. You know, it, it interacts with only itself. And the true beauty to be found in Roller Coaster Tycoon is where the ride meets the land. I don't know why I'm trying to describe this. I just did a micro park challenge, so I had to do a lot of thinking like this. But I, I realize where the true beauty in this game is, and it's where, like, the challenge meets the, the substance, you know? And it's like the medium that you're working with is what is truly beautiful. It's just a pleasure to look at this game, though. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so beautiful. The fr yeah, the, the, obviously the boat ride is probably the most thrilling ride in the park. Um, custom ride, fully custom ride. <laughs> Uh, I, I do kind of love that. No, the advertising is over. All right, well, we do have 1,124 guests. We have $12,000 in loan. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's most of what I have had to say about it. Hmm. I'm trying to see if we could do anything else kind of crazy. Well, to be fair, here's what I think, is that these rides are deemed less intense by patrons. We'll do, like, one more crazy coaster, because I just feel like one is its not enough. Let's do something that intersects with this one, something even more ambitious and crazy, because we now have $12,000, and that's plenty of money. Let's do something different. Um, hmm. You know, I'm tempted to do another one of these, but I do want to try something different. Let's do this, because it just looks totally awful. Custom design, absolutely. We're doing it. Sign me up. Hmm. 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 Can it be a swan coaster? Yes, it can be a swan coaster. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I say that? Oh, no. Maybe it'll collide with the bumper cars. Well, the station doesn't have to be that large because we don't really need this thing to make us any money from this point on. Uh, whoops. That won't work. Um... Here we go. You gotta have the chains going, otherwise the thing just stops and kind of falls back on itself. I think we'll make this a contrasting color with the last one. Maybe another white. Oh my god, this thing can go really ridiculously high up. Wow. Jesus. Okay, what kind of special things did it have? It has a helix up. Oh, yes! Oh, we're gonna create my favorite kind of coaster. Helix down. Uh, let's do this to the left. Okay, this is going to be ridiculous. Ah, this is my favorite thing to do in this game. Oh, that's very dangerous. Yes, uh, exactly how I envisioned it. Exactly how I dreamed it. We just go straight, then we go up. Then maybe we go back through the other coaster. I can't even t see the perspective is a little bit difficult here. We do something like that, and then we do that, and then we do that, and then we bring it around town. Can't really even bank this thing. Hmm. Let's just try that. See if it gets too intense or something like that. And if we want to change the coaster, we can. Nope. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Go down over the bumper cars to upset the people in there. And then we'll do this. And then we'll do this. Uh, let's see. Let's go up again. And we do that, we do one more big helix, and then we get them off the ride before they're dead. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, through the other loop. Oh, that would be interesting. Ooh, I wonder if we get... Yeah, actually, that's a better idea. You know, that would beat my other helix idea, just because it would be more ride interaction. I like it. I like it. Now, those things are at a level 8. Uh, ooh, I don't know how we'll have to... Ooh, actually, that might be kind of hard to get to. Eh, well, hard is my middle name. Um, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Hmm. Special, okay, helix down, left. Nope, here we go. This is the joy of this game, though. This is the joy of this game, guys. Helix down, left. Helix is actually my middle name. Helix. Helix. 
Can we go there? No, the other roller coaster is in the way. Can we actually go through it? Uh, I'm not sure. We might not have enough loop in this de-loop. But it appears from this angle as if there's enough de-loop in the loop. Let's try like a more conservative de-loop. Hmm, okay, what if we just bring it down a little bit and then we go straight and oh, we almost did it. Wait, I think we're, we're almost through the loop. Hang on a second, we might need to bring it over one square. Yep. Yep, I think that's gonna do it. Either that or I'm just totally screwed. Uh, that really looks like it should go through though, don't you think? <gasps> we did it! Oh my god! Ah, oh, my day is... Ah, oh, this made my entire day! Hey, innkeeper, how are you, my friend? We did it! Oh my god, this is so intense. This is... That's so sad that this is so intense for me. Okay, but it's still very intense and nice. Um, we can't really bank these turns, so let's just do this. Um, we'll do a helix down to the right. And then, okay, this was, yeah, this is one helix to rule them are. Oh, here we go. Um, now we do, even if people never ride this thing, I just stand justified in that I created something with massive helixes that always, or that just looks insane. Oh, that's so much fun. Uh, we're at a level six there at the end, so we'll bring this down to a six. Okay, I'm starting to get this. I'm getting a hang of this, guys. I'm getting a hang of this. A hey, gelatinous noob, a hey, and distant rebel, and white shadow, and beers of war. Hey, thank you very much for the prime, my friends. I was so focused on the roller coaster. <sighs> I was, uh... Hang on a second. The path is no matter. We can just get rid of the path, rebuild it somewhere else, um, or kill the people there because this—that's what this game is mostly about. Um, turn and one more, and we're good. We linked it back up. Let's go for uh, an entrance here. I think we're going to want to queue these people, and I don't really want to risk it over there, so let's just do... What a threatening thing to say. I'm going to queue you. Wow, that's pretty bad. Okay. Um, mm, River Rapids 1 is broken down, and where are we? We're in September, so only one month away. One month away. Plenty of time left before the end. Hopefully the park rating hasn't been destroyed by this probably going to kill people. Let's uh, test the ride while we construct the paths. Uh, what a hideous coloration. Let's change it to... Yeah, I like the whole idea of kind of a black and white park. Let's do that. You can kind of differentiate which one's which. See, that's neat. That is neat. Uh, and then the cars themselves should probably be in black again. You know, I don't mind the yellow. I think that contrasts boldly. Mm. Hey, Mushroom Toast, welcome in. How are you? We're just playing the greatest game ever made. <laughs> hey, thanks for the hundred bits. Now, let's see if this thing goes fast enough, because I really didn't think much about that. Okay, that's pretty good. It made it around. Good, good. It goes through the loop and maybe crashes with the other one if they perfectly time up. I've actually never seen that happen before, but maybe it could happen. Uh, Alright, let's see the intensity rating and stuff like that so that people will actually get on it. Though at this point, who really cares? Not yet available. Mm hmm. Vertical Gs, lateral Gs, okay. Right, I'll just leave that open on the side there while I construct the path. I mean, it's not really going to change the path that I construct. You know, I think that this kind of red white black it's like a youtube kind of theme you know everything on youtube is red white and black and this matches them mm. oh we could actually just build it right out over to here uh that's all right we could just do this and then this i had ignored that obvious answer shame on me there we go and then we just do this and this, and this. Sorry, there's been a lot of that throughout this stream, but, uh... Okay, we've got extreme intensity. Probably no one will want to get on it. I'm going to open it. Uh, no one's going to get on the line. They're all going to look at it and go, Holy crap, I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, die on that. But that's okay. 
because we'll make it less intense somehow. They'll, you know, I mean, I have the moral victory. My, my park looks amazing. It looks beautiful. I actually didn't expect it to look this good. Yeah, it's pretty much a puke machine. Uh, ultra extreme vomit. I really don't agree with this because I, I don't think that it's that bad. Uh, max positive vertical G's 2.86. Max lateral G's 3.65. That might be, that might be the the ticket there. The lateral G's. Um, we'll keep it free just to try to convince people to get on and vomit. Um, where could we decrease the lateral G's? Maybe. I think that's that's the ticket. Let's just kind of watch this graph as it happens. Right, clearly, it's somewhere a little further down the line here. Uh, we get to... I believe here the lateral Gs aren't so bad, but I think it's around these last turns. Maybe it's like here? Yeah, it's probably just these regular turns that aren't helixes. Hey, Vernal Path, thanks for coming out. Yeah, no, very high nausea. Very high nausea. See the... the um, the G's aren't so bad here. Man, isn't this, isn't this system just irreplaceable, though, in this game? Okay, so it was there. And, like, basically all of this. Like, all of these turns, they just hated them. They hated them. So we should probably replace these with Helix turns. So what I'm learning from this is that, basically, if you send them on a regular turn... Uh, they better be going slow. That does kind of make sense, though, because if you're just on a regular-ass turn. Entrance fee is cheap. Raise it up. Raise it up. Oops, free. No, wrong one. $35. $40. $40. Give me the money. Now, this seems very expensive. Who would pay a hundred? That seems like a lot. That seems like a lot. Hey, Quaglon. Hey, Quaglon. Thank you for the raid. Oh, Jesus, you're a gentleman and a scholar. I wish I were eating at a steakhouse with you right now. <laughs> Funny story, Quag and I actually did go out to eat at a steakhouse together. It was a great time. Uh, uh, man, I really do hope to get to through, uh, through uh, Raleigh again. Now I say Raleigh, Raleigh. <laughs> I just like the way that it sounds. Uh, no, we had, we had a great steak dinner together. It was very nice. Hey, thank you very much for the raid. The r or should I say the raw? Uh, no, I can't really put that together with Raleigh. Hey, you're a roller coaster tycoon guy, aren't you? Certainly you are. <laughs> oh, of course you are. Of course you are. Now we're going to send you on this ride, which has given been given such a great intensity rating, because I don't know how to do helix turns, you know. So unfortunately, I have to go back and destroy most of the ride, unless if we. Well, it'll, the scenario will probably be over by the time I'm through with this. So what I'm seeing is this, the more like you put people through intense pain on this ride, the more upset they are with you. So let's just make this like a regular ass turn. Oh, you know, I stand corrected about all that stuff I said before too. You can just do a regular, a regular right click to get this happening. So if we just make this a normal turn here, and can we do a helix up? Oh, we can do a helix up to the left. Wow. Very impressive, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Very impressive. Um, here we go. Slightly up, slightly up. No one minds slightly up. Everyone, of course, loves being slightly up. Here we go. Good. Okay, so we've slightly lowered the Gs there. Great. Okay, so now it's just to fix the other half of the ride which was mostly just a death trap everyone had decided. So if we make this turn less extreme here, I think that we'll probably get um, a lot, uh, a much better rating. So I think if we take out that. See, look, I am a genius. Oh, God. Favorite. Uh, what's my favorite cut? Oh, I don't know. I like a good burger. I don't really... Re oh, steak, though. Man, I haven't had steak in a while. You know, we have, used to have this really good ribs at a restaurant I worked at. Man, I feel like I should go out and get a steak now. I just haven't been out to eat in a while. It's just like a very, uh, very, um, steakless lifestyle. Hmm. 
No, what did I have today? I, you know, I've been treating myself to some good bread lately. I really like... Hmm. I just found this bakery in my town. I really like it. Hmm. How now if we do a helix down? Okay! Okay, action! This is good. This is nice. This is nice. Mm. Yeah, gluten... Yeah, we'll go with that. Gluten-free meat. Put me down for gluten-free meat. Man, I feel like such a wimp. I don't have, a, like, a good steak I like. Now, what is, like, a food that's... He looks down left... Damn it. Now, I'll tell you what I've been eating. I had a great potato cauliflower soup the other day. It was fantastic. You gotta try this thing. You gotta try... Oh, hang on. Damn it. I was thinking so much about potato cauliflower soup. You distracted me. You distracted me. There we go. Helix down to the left. There we go. Okay. No more potato cauliflower soup. There we go. An excellent soup, though. I highly recommend it. Yeah, you know what I like? I like some good... Ro I mean, this Now, this is going to sound kind of annoying, what I'm about to say. But I like some good rosemary bread and some good... Or sourdough or something like that and some potato cauliflower... Like, homey foods like that. That's my kind of... That's my deal. That's my deal. I think we just got to make these turns wider as well. Though we do have space and time, and uh, I feel like I'm about to get on off on a Stephen Hawking rant here, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and do this. If we normalize that, or we don't even need to normalize that. Here we go. Let's just denormalize that. And I think these helix turns have been very good to us. Hey, Super Amadeus. Hey, thank you very much for the prime. And Real Wolfie, LOL. <laughs> uh, hey, thank you very much for the prime. Much appreciated. Oh, no, just uh, just not even a prime. Oh, it's a regular sub. Oh, I, uh, thank you even more. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Look at these regular ass turns, everyone. Look at these regular ass turns. Okay, let's see if we fix the uh, the thing. Make it work. There we go. And our park should be... Ooh! Park rating went way down, but it's still well and, well and above the uh, required amount. Probably because we neglected the entire park. Oh, no. Oh, no. Actually, a, a regular pleb level sub is... Well, to be honest with you, if, if you want to know about Twitch, uh, what you call pleb level subs are uh, actually the, the best kind that streamers can get. Regu regular subs are, are the best things that streamer can get. Uh, or is it bits? I don't know. But thank you either way. Uh, it's it's always appreciated, never expected. So you take over the world in RimWorld now? See, I would never do a take over the world RimWorld scenario, unless if the world were really, really small. Really small world, I would need it to be. Because otherwise that would, uh, I would find that very upsetting. <laughs> but yeah. I'll probably head back to Zomboid in RimWorld after a while. I'm just kind of trying to do other things so that I uh, get some much-needed variety. I've been feeling good about doing all the variety on the channel. Look at this nice, calm turn. Oh, God, I love that. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, they haven't even collided yet, but that did look... That did look good. The more, Yeah, we had the moral victory there. What were our maximum Gs awaiting test results? Let's see. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay, we got it under three. I think that everyone will be happy with that. I'm pretty sure that we can open the ride. Um, they won't die if I open the ride. Will they want to get on it? Oh, look, there's already vomit right in front of it. And yes! Ah! We did it! Oh, God. Even as the park rating was plummeting... We had just done such a good job before that it was completely fine. And look, look at this. This is my favorite part of the game when all of the balloons are released. Uh, you might have noticed they all stopped what they were doing and clapped at the... Such a special moment, though. Unfortunately, the balloons do disappear there if you just do that. Um, everything is closed down now in the park, but look, we can do this. We can just pop them all. That's nice. I like that. Um, we'll wait, a, I want to give you a, a moment because they will all pop together and then we'll watch that coaster and the... Uh, it's just such a great feeling of, you know, a game that really didn't have any final goal, but just had some, like, satisfying end about it. 
See, to me, that's what one of the things that made Roller Coaster Tycoon so special, and I, I, I do love this game. Uh, I think it holds a lot of the, the same places in other people's hearts. I don't want to pop too many more, because they all go, they're popping. Ah, they all pop in one nice wave, and it's it's just so utterly satisfying. Look, people love the roller coaster. I think it looks super badass to just make all of your coasters black and white. You can kind of tell apart what's going on. Let's see how the people react. Happy people. Oh yeah, we get the thoughts of somebody riding it, right? Um, unfortunately, we get the train. Okay, he's thinking. What is he thinking? He's thinking that roller coaster four, which this one is, is a really good value. The form he went on the vormatorium too. Vormatorium. Everyone loves the vormatorium. Oh, that's nice. This on-ride photo from vormatorium is really good value. Okay, so he loves everything. This guy has no problems with anything in our park. Yeah, you know, really my favorite type of thing to do is just this downward spiral to something that shoots them out. So I was happy that I got to do that in the park. We have one of these things, something that goes up and down. And then we have just general other coaster interaction and a lot of, like, happy footpathing. Um, zoom out from all of it to just kind of appreciate everything. Unfortunately, you can't see the moving objects when you zoom out one more, so... We even got something going through a loop-de-loop, -loop, so... I don't know why, it, it really brings me back. I just feel so nostalgic whenever I play this, so... Too bad the 3D RCT0... Yeah, you know, personally, I enjoyed the first two more than any of the other ones. Um, but sometimes, too, it's just like, how can you possibly come close to something with a sequel? Kind of like SimCity and Sim, uh, City Skylines. Like, I kind of prefer SimCity to the newer... Or actually, you know, I never even played the newer ones. But I do like being able to play offline, so that's um, that's part of my, you know, two cents on that. Anyway, we probably could have made this park a lot more aesthetically pleasing, but I just wanted to play through a full scenario here uh, and get some result out of it. So I think I am going to save um, and probably just, like, leave this one. Do I have that right here? Save. There we go. And uh, uh, Leafy Lake. Uh, I'm going to name this one Twitch. There we go. So if you've not had the pleasure of playing RCT, um, I mean, I'm not sponsored or anything like that, obviously. This game is super old. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check this one out. It's on Steam if you want to download a copy. But um, they do still, there are still physical copies out there. You'd, I don't even know how to get it on Windows 10 or if that's possible without the Steam version and stuff like that. Does Geo, GOG have it? It seems like the type of thing that GOG would have. Um, price of a hot dog. Yeah, we could see, well, we could say, we could make people pay a million dollars to go to the bathroom in this game. Um, one of the other many reasons why I love it so much. But I don't know, thanks for, uh, thanks for sitting here with me, uh, and, and enjoying it. It, it kind of means a lot. Uh, GOG, I do like GOG because even if the cloud shuts down, you also, you also still just have a copy of your games if you put it onto, like, an external hard drive or something, so. It's probably a good one worth checking out. 